I got in a lot of trouble as a kid because I hosed down my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? It was really weird. There was like, <laughs> I, I hosed down, down my kitchen. What kind of sentence is that? <laughs> what do you mean? That's I what hosed down my kitchen. I did. Yeah. I, there, so in my old house, and, you know, there's like a laundry room. And uh, past, like, it led to outside. It was like kitchen, laundry room, outside. Basically, I saw a fly in the kitchen. And then I started hosing it down, but it was really fun. <laughs> so I kept going. <laughs> How went, old were you? Holy <laughs> How old were you, Adam? Like way too old to be doing this. <laughs> this is like two years ago. This is silly. No, I, I was maybe like eleven. <laughs> I still can get over the fact you was down your kitchen. <laughs> yeah, but that was one of the most mad I've ever seen my mom. What did she say? Uh, <laughs> Why'd she always down her <laughs> kitchen? Don't judge her, but she hit me for that. One. <laughs> <laughs> Did she hit you with the hose? No, no. <laughs> she, she like shoved a heart the hose attack. down my throat. <laughs> I got heart attack. She again. filled me up with water and rolled me down the hill. It was really weird because I remember just like oh. Oh, doing shit. it for a long time. <laughs> like it was bad. I just kind of had fun with it. I was like, oh, this, this feels good. And I kept going. <laughs> Wait, sorry. How old were you again? Probably like 10 or 11. Okay. Yeah, that was too old to be doing that. <laughs> yeah. Too old to be hosing down the kitchen. Yeah, yeah you deserve to be hit for that. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty stupid. <laughs> The moment I just- I didn't even think about it, I was just like, oh, it's a bug. <laughs> so you know, kitchen, when you're a kid, you don't think about, like, evil molds growing out of water. <laughs> yeah. I never tell you about the, uh, I found a website when I was very young, and I was like, This little cloud strife keychain. Oh, daddy, can I buy this cloud strife keychain? He's like, no. And I was like, oh. I was like, can I use your credit card? No. And I was like, oh. And then I email. oh no, I didn't email them. I, I looked up the address of the company. It was in England, right? I put a few uh, Irish pounds into an envelope and I sent off a very nice letter that said, Hello, my name is Chris O'Neill. I'm nine years old and I really, really want the Cloud Strife keychain. Please, please, from the bottom of my heart. If you can send this, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. And they f did it. They sent really? it. Really? Yep. And I had it for years and I lost it. Oh. oh. And actually, uh, in my first year and of high Sora school, some himself. kid, one yeah, of my friends Sora's tried, dead, by the way. One of my friends in high school tried stealing it from me. Oh my they god. They tried breaking into my locker to get at it. Is that valuable, huh? Apparently. This but, music's um, beautiful. Yeah, no, the internet was a cool thing. My parents were like, Chris, we're getting the internet. And I was like eight years old, I'm like, <laughs> what's that do? It's like, you can go on it and look at stuff. Like, oh, and then they were like, you can even buy things off the internet. I was like, well, can I buy Final Fantasy VII toys? And they are like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing no. they don't have. And I was just like, then I don't want to use it. When I was younger, when I was really young, like six, my dad's office used to just have like coins all over the floor. Because you just count money in there. And so it's okay. littered with coins. So one day I went in there and I stole all the coins off the floor. <laughs> And um, I went outside and I buried them. And then my dad came out and I, I pretended like I was digging them up. And he's like, what's that? I'm like, I, I found buried money. And he's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> and I was like, I, I swear, liar, I swear I, I found buried money. He just, he just let me away with it for some reason. He should have grabbed me by the hair and stuck my face down in the, the mud. He didn't have the patience to deal with your... Yeah. Exactly, he was throwing more coins on the ground. You wanna know else something I did when I was younger? What? Murder. Died. It was church. I was in church. Of course. And when they were handing out that thing where you put the money in, yeah. I grabbed the coin and I, and I put my hand in and I took out my hand again without letting go of the coin and everyone saw me and I put it back in my pocket oh, and, my acted like I, and acted like I did. Chris, you're but going to hell. I'm so everyone, sorry, Chris. Everyone clearly saw me doing it. I remember, uh, I have a story. When I was... I think I was like 12 or 13. I went out trick or treating and I, I made an Oogie Boogie costume out of real burlap over the course and of like a, a week or something. It took me a really long time to make. Mm. And then, but I like the cloth is actually stiffer than it looks. I didn't know that you would have to weigh it down or something. Oh. And so the point was sticking straight up. And when I went out, <laughs> when I went out, everybody was yelling at me for and being. And you took a, it off. Said, "No, I'm a brown." <laughs> to say I was a KKK member, that was everybody was like, "That's, that's not, that's not cool, man." And I was like, oh, "It's not, that's not that's what like I am." That's like the South Park episode. That happened Cartman to me in New York. He was a ghost. <laughs> that happened to me in New York. Did it? Yeah, I, I bought this like monkey. I bought this Klansman outfit, and they thought that I was just <laughs> no, boogie boogie. no. Boogie boogie. I bought. I, <laughs> no, it's my, boogie boogie. My Halloween costume was a fucking morph suit of an ape. 
So I was like skin tight and like had an ape face, oh and, I, and I had a beanie on and big boots. Oh. <laughs> so, so this guy came up, this black guy came up to me. He's like, "So, uh, what the fuck are you supposed to be?" <laughs> I was like, "A silverback gorilla." <laughs> and he was like, uh, ha, 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 "Later." <laughs> I was like, "Who?" <laughs> he was scary. <laughs> he was. He was. He was gonna kind of stab me because I was. Being, I was me. being accidentally racist. Children are pure of heart. They can't. He be wasn't racist. a child. He was fucking old. I said you're a child. I was. Get that was here. last year. Wait, you did that last year? It was like two years ago. How did you do that? When, when, when I didn't. You're such a fool. When was the <laughs> last time you went trick or treating? I first? didn't think it would be racist to All fucking. All you do is put on big boots, a backwards baseball cap, and a the giant only reason I wore boots and a beanie neck. was because <laughs> I was walking around New York at nighttime and I didn't want my feet to get wet and my head was cold. I said, what are you supposed to be? I said, yeah, boy! I said, you, you! <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. no! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that! <laughs> I'm one of you guys! <laughs> fellow costumer! What if to, yeah, you, to... <laughs> hey, My you, fellow Halloween! You did, the, you did the classic Halloween, like, kid special bit where you said, hey, nice costume, man! Yeah. But that's not what happened. I got a lot of nice people that night, though. They all, they all liked it. The, the last <laughs> they all time, laughed and said, "You look like Obama." The last time, Chris, Chris, did anybody pop it, pop it all at once? Did anything ever scare you when you were a kid that you were watching TV, so you you would like run out of the room? Not run out. I, I, the only time I ever did that was with Final Fantasy VII. It was at the beginning of the game when the uh, when the timer was going off. Right before the city exploded, I turned off the PlayStation and ran out crying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't play it again for a few years. It's adorable. I was very scared. My, my dad felt really scammed when he bought that game. Why? So we went to Dublin for my birthday and I bought a bunch of Tasmania stuff because I was obsessed with Taz at the time. And my dad went into a game store and he's like, oh, what's a good game to buy now? And the guy was just like, Oh, Final Fantasy VII, it's the best thing ever! My dad put it in for like, an hour, and then he stood up and went, This is fucking shit! And he walked out and he left it there. Then I played it, and that was right when that happened, and I turned it off. It's adorable. Why did he hate it? Because he didn't like the stupid anime aesthetic, or reading, or didn't like fighting. Reading? He likes playing poker. Did I ever tell you that when I was, uh, 16 or 15, I used to go over to my friend's house and drop water on people for fun? <laughs> From Great Heights? Yeah, because he used to live in an apartment that was up really high. And, uh, a few times- or it started off small, where we'd have a glass of water and we'd drop it on drunk people on a Saturday night, and they would never want to deal with it, because it's just too much effort after getting drunk, they just want to go home. Yeah. But, um, it started off with a, a little glass of water, then it, then it went on to, uh, a little jug, then it went on to a, a big-ass foot basin, and then- <laughs> <laughs> then we filled up a bin liner. I'm oh surprised that you went to that much effort. Oh my god. We filled up a bin liner until the, to the point where it wouldn't explode and we drop it onto the road and it would just explode into a huge, like, <laughs> mushroom cloud of water. At least it's just water. Yeah, but there was one night when, when there was a bunch of, uh, girls and they were all dressed in pink and wearing, like, rabbit ears oh boy. and being really loud and stupid. And then we, we got the basin. <laughs> <laughs> and we like I feel bad, but we dropped it. Like I was 16. Everyone's a shithead when they're 16. Don't don't, don't be make mad. excuses. Yeah, just, just continue tell the, story. the story. But uh, we dropped <laughs> we dropped the full basin of water onto this group oh of my girls, God. and one of them was one of them went to start crying. Oh my God! But it like her friend was like, Ah, Sabrina, are you alright? And then she went, Me fucking phone's broken. <laughs> it was fucking funny. Was it really? Did you have to pay for it? No, they didn't do it. They didn't. <laughs> they just went home. Okay. Chris, they're gonna find you now. <laughs> That's true, yeah. I was 16. They're gonna sue you for all your worth. They're gonna know that wasn't natural rain. <laughs> <laughs> One time a guy stood right under the balcony and we, we dunked a whole basin on him. <sighs> and then we went inside to hide and when we came back out, he was still standing there so we dropped more on him. <laughs> <laughs> And he went home then. Chris. <laughs> oh, anyway. When I was a little kid, I had this friend from the- Yeah. We would, we liked Naruto's kids, so we would- <laughs> It was funny. We used to fuck pillows and be like, This is soccer, this is not it. And we'd each like, get the hot girl and we'd just fuck a pillow. It was really weird. I just forgot about that somehow. Wait, what? Yeah. 
when, when you say fuck pillows. Yeah, yeah, we'd, we'd be like, like role playing and be like, this is Sakura, this is Nanda, this is our girlfriends, we're gonna fuck now. And then we just fuck them. Uh, like in the same room, you, yeah, you both yeah, yeah, got yeah. on pillows next to each other. No, not right next to each other, we'd be like a little hidden. <laughs> we'd be a little So hidden. one of you would go behind a couch or something? Uh, no, wait, Like you'd be the, within, like, you'd be able be to see within, each like, other is what I'm asking. If you looked, but that'd be gay. So we just didn't look at each other. <laughs> Well, actually, we did. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I remember Shit. getting- I remember being really proud I had a bigger dick than him. I was like, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you got such good stories. I really hope he never ever finds this. <laughs> Probably kinda of mad at me. <laughs> did you see my, uh... My, my Crash Bandicoot 3D render I did when I was 13? Well, I saw your fake uh, Mario 64 hoax where he was just in a room looking at Did you see that? Yeah. How did you see that? He sent it to me. When? He sent it to me like a year ago. Whoa! He was just looking through the window with houses <laughs> at the window. I printed that out and I brought it to school and I said, Look! <laughs> it's <laughs> real! <laughs> I can't believe I sent you that. <laughs> it's Do you still have it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I, cause I lost it's it. It's just a tiny gray room. Yeah, it's just no <laughs> point. I was like, I found this room where you can see Bowser. There's nothing there. <laughs> this is all he can do. I made this fake fucking screenshot, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> they'll all believe me now. <laughs> you thought you were real sneaky. Yeah. There's a kid who brought in crayon drawings when I was in school, and he said, this is water, water, and it's a secret level. <laughs> Jump through the water. That didn't have really? I, I used to. Drawing? I know a no, guy. A, a crayon drawing. Crayon drawings, yeah. Golly. I know a guy who was like. I was young when it came out, Julian. Yeah, oh, no. Yeah, that's true. I know. I knew a guy who was notorious for bullshitting, and like we we had a big like book of his bullshits. That's how bad he was. But one of his bullshits was, he was like, yeah, in Crush Bandicoot Two, you do a cheat and you can fly around the world. Fly? <laughs> so, what does that even mean? We were like, no, you can't. And he was like, you can't. Yeah, you can. He's a wing cat. <laughs> But I don't know why he came up with such I stupid lies. His lies were so awful. <laughs> Unlike the room with Bowser out the window. <laughs> That's a funny one. <laughs> why is that what you came up with? Because it's believable. Because everybody I knew. How's that believable? Why wouldn't it be? Oh no, not the Bowser room. <laughs> There's this no. This was Miyamoto's favorite. <laughs> That's what game fucking Easter eggs always are. They're always completely yeah, pointless. The Bowser room. Miyamoto said the game can't come out without it. <laughs> well, there's a fucking Mario portrait room in Legend of Zelda. Yeah, if you look in the bag, it's an Easter egg. Yeah, it's an Easter egg. That's what mine was. Yours was a whole room that you're trapped in. It's not a whole, whole fucking room. room. It was a whole room. You couldn't see the. I saw it. There's a little. <laughs> there's a little slope. It's a plain gray room. You're right. Window. Oh my god. And Bowser's coming out. The yeah, well, window. you couldn't see what was behind him. It was, it, it was, it was just pitch. plain blue sky. <laughs> it was just easy to find. Dude, I, I was a fucking bitch growing up. I used to like role play Final Fantasy oh. with my friend down the road. I will spit and out. And we. we, we <laughs> <laughs> he had a bedroom with two beds in it. We'd stand on each bed and just face each other and bob up and down pretending like we're characters <laughs> from the game. And fucking, I'd be like, I attack you, and he'd be like, I dodge. I'd be like, you f no, you did you can't dodge. Yeah, I have a shield. It really is a miracle, like, none of us are like, like in a padded cell right now. Like, cause, cause I used to do the same stuff where it was, and I was way too old for it, man. <laughs> I was way too fucking old to know better. Yeah. I was like 8, 9, 10. I was way late on like, stopping playing with action figures and role playing and stuff. Yeah. I'd always pretend Pokemon Real, I, it really is a miracle I'm not sedated in some some padded little area. What is this? Oh, Alienware. Did I ever tell you about a computer? Alienware computer, but they they suck. Why? What happened to it? It drops it down the stairs. <laughs> Does that really happen? Yeah. <laughs> How did that happen? Like a big hole came out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like a big hole came yeah, out. Yeah, I just, I just <laughs> got it for Christmas as a kid. <laughs> Did you start crying? <laughs> no. Did I'm, you make a hole in the floor with it? No, no, it, it just like exploded the computer. <laughs> and I, I didn't get out of one. Yeah, that's a sad story. How old were you? Uh, pretty young. Nine, <laughs> ten. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Adam told me and Ben a story where when he was like eight, he got an Alienware computer for. It was a birthday or Christmas? Oh, it was Christmas. For Christmas. And, uh, he- he told- okay, you, you tell the story the way you told me and Ben. Uh, how did it do that? Okay, never mind, I'll tell it. <laughs> he- he said he- he got- he grabbed the computer, 
and, and he just threw it down the stairs by accident. I actually lunged it. What, what do you mean accident? Did, did you have like a nervous system? Did you like you like you? I was so excited I couldn't like. Oh, you were like you were like bouncing yeah. around. Yeah, he was running around it. with it. Yeah. You threw it. Yeah, I actually launched it. Did it break? It. Yeah, it exploded. What? How long did you have it for? A couple of days. <laughs> wait, wait, so, wait, 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 wait! You never so, told me so, that so, part. What? You had it for a few days and then you did that. Like a day, maybe it was like the next. But day. you had it plugged it in, and then you unplugged you it. Plugged it in. Wait, 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 yeah, you plugged it in. You used it. You went on Facebook yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you played yeah, yeah, yeah. video games. Then had, you unplugged like, it. We're so excited that you had it. You started jumping down. You <laughs> threw unscrewed it. the DVI yeah, yeah, cables, yeah. pulled it out, and then jumped in joy and excitement and threw it. Wait, this is oddly specific, but when I was uh, in sixth class, that's when you're like ten. Is that sixth or, grade? No, it's like when you're ten or eleven. Sixth but, grade, okay, go. But my uh, my principal's Wait. wife, she was the vice principal. She, uh, she, she heard a, a kid call another kid a spa on the playground. A spa? Yeah, and she went, What did you say? And she ran over and she started screaming at him. She's like, How dare you call him a spastic? What if I called you a spastic? And then all the kids started laughing. Holy cause, shit, cause she called him a you're spastic. fired. Yeah, it was, no, it was fucking hilarious. But, uh, the, but he said a spa. Yeah, I know. It's the same thing. Like Everyone in Waxford says, You're a spa. Like, it's just this, it, everyone fucking says it. <laughs> like, what's your problem, Spat? <laughs> you wanna- you wanna hear a story from when I was in elementary school? Never mind, I'm not gonna tell that one. Do it, Jeff, do, do, it. It. do it. Do it, do it, do it. I pulled my penis out. It was really, it was really it awkward. great! <laughs> what? It was a really awkward situation. I was on the playground, I was in like, fourth grade. And we ran up, and there's this girl, <laughs> this girl we'd pick on, and we ran up, and I like... Yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna tell this story. Never mind. I mean, you can at least tell without having your hand halfway down your pants, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, tell the story about the bathtub and your brother. I'm sorry, Alex. <laughs> oh, too high. Well, he was too a high, dirty damn. boy that day. <laughs> tell me, I would tell you about my brother and what he did to me in a bathtub once. Uh, is this like a trauma story? Oh, yeah. Oh, are you sure you want to share oh, this? Oh, yeah. Please all don't right. Want to share this. No. <laughs> what did your brother do? Well, back when we used to bathe together, uh, he got in the tub first, so I was getting all ready, you know, getting naked. <laughs> anyway, he shits in the tub and shoves <laughs> oh, it down okay. the fucking drain. So I get in the tub, and I'm like, oh, it's so warm in here, it's so nice. <laughs> and then it was like, it, it was in Japan, so like, I like to <sighs> open the window and like, you know, I like to like make it cold inside and then drain out some and then like fill it back up with hot water. Yeah. How did you not notice it getting in? Uh, because it's down the drain, he shut the drain, so then when I filled He's not receiving! Water, <laughs> That's bullshit! It should- it should only matter when he gets the ball! I can't believe how angry you're getting That's over FIFA bullshit. 22. This so, FIFA is dumb. You know what the worst part is <laughs> about that? <laughs> what? What? I picked up the shit in my hand because I didn't know what it was. Really? Yeah, I opened the drain, all this shit, like, things started floating around, I was like, what is this? Oh, so you're telling me he shoved it down the drain, put a yes. plug on it, and yes. then- Another yes. offside, yes. are you kidding me? So then when I unplugged the plug, this bunch of poop came out, and I was like, what is this? And I grabbed it, I was like, okay, this is poop. Uh, did I ever tell you about the guy in my school who, who was like, <laughs> well, that's the story, it's like, uh, oh, he was considered the dumbest guy in school and everyone made fun of him all the time, and then one day the teacher came in, she was like, we're, we're, we're doing- oh fuck. We're, we're doing, uh, the school magazine. Everybody write an article. And, uh, well, if you want. And then he was like, I want to write an article. And everyone was like, oh, what's he gonna write about? This should be funny. And he was like, his article was just, Hello, my name is blank. And I like shooting crows on my spare time. Shoot crows. <laughs> and he was like, really, really like, countryside Irish. He was just like, there's nothing better than just unloading a shotgun on an unsuspecting crow. Goodness gracious. But sometimes I imagine if it was my parents. <laughs> it was really funny. Perhaps all of my classmates. <laughs> Were all the kids laughing? Yeah, everyone was like, why the fuck did you write about this idiot? And he's like, I thought it'd be good. I thought it'd be good. <laughs> I would be fucking good. I remember when I was younger, I was in my house, and I was very, very young, and I, my mom and dad's friend brought over this tiny girl who was like, Have you seen Bangkok the Magnificent? And I was like, no. And she's like, it's really good. It's, n it's not. <laughs> I know. That poor small child. <laughs> she broke a bunch of my shit. <laughs> because because you didn't like the movie. I didn't, I've she never said, heard Bartok of it. Bartok told me to. Bartok. <laughs> <laughs> there was a scene in the movie. Yeah. Is that what she sounded like, Chris? God, what was their names? There was two little sisters, and they were fucking insane. Can't remember their names. S Helga and Smelda. They were super Irish names. I fucking can't remember at all. Magnifica and 
the Borg. Irito. <laughs> Irito. <laughs> and Irishi. <laughs> Irishia. And once once you're out of the tutorial realm, I can teach you how uh, you dance with your partners in this game. No way. Yeah, yeah. back when I was a kid, I would uh, I would go to Lumbridge, which is the village, the, the old world, <laughs> and like all the strongest guys with the best armor would get the the hot girl and no. the game girls. Yeah, you dance with them. That's not fair. You right click follow on each other and you start dancing. And it's like <laughs> it's how you showed your in game affection to your girl is or, it, or is guy. It, is it a real girl? What? Is it a real girl or an NPC? Uh, I was for sure tricked when I was a kid. I was like, that's got to be a real hot woman <laughs> on the other side of that screen. <laughs> but I might have been wrong. You might have been. When I was a kid. I would just log into the game to hang out with NPCs. Did I ever tell you about that? <laughs> no, go on. Since real players don't want to hang out with me, I just pretend that these guys were players and I just hang out with them. <laughs> what did you do with them? Well, I tried to dance with them, they never danced back. <laughs> How old were you? Like 14. <laughs> you poor fucking kid. I know. Uh, that's good. What is the worst things that happened in your schools growing up? Um, death. Yeah, I mean that happens yeah, in everyone's- Yeah, had a, a good amount of, like, awful things happen at school. I don't think I had really had anything that bad Someone happened. always dies at school. Yep. I never went to schools that were big enough is the thing. I went really? to schools with, like, maybe 50 kids at the most. The- I did- I went to public school twice for two years of my life, and that's hmm. not really enough to- The shittiest to one I remember is that a kid got murdered. And, uh, Holy fuck, really? And there was a huge, like, m memorial wall that was in the hallway. And because no one really knew the kid, because he was kind of awkward, it was just empty, no one wrote anything on it, and no. people were just shit-talking the whole time. The fuck? And it's just like, wow, that's cool, you, you can't... Can't hold off on that a little bit, maybe? <laughs> people are fucking assholes in school. Well, especially around that time. Around that window, that's the point where you think, like, Oh, fuck everyone, I'm above this. Look at the little beetle boy. Do you guys like slugs? Slugs are okay. Slugs are nice. I hate slugs. Chris, how come you hate creepy crawlies? I don't know. I'm scared of them. I like little beetles. They're fun. My sister ruined my life. <laughs> she turned me into <laughs> like a just slug. Unrelated. I used to love bugs, and then she made me fucking terrified of them because of how terrified she was of them. Uh. What'd she do? She, she probably in. just freaked out she every time. She came in and she whispered in your ear, Chris, they're coming to get you. Yeah, she... <laughs> there was a time when, um, we had, like, bricks outside of our house just because we had extra bricks left over. And my mom was like, move those bricks. And she, she casted a brick to bug spell on it. No. That terrified you? No. I picked up a brick and there was a huge, a huge, huge black spider on it. And I was like, cool. But she screamed so loud, and she was so genuinely terrified that she almost had like a panic attack, and it made me afraid of them. And this was back in- this was back before Ireland even had any like actual biting spiders. Now they do, for some reason. That always happens, that- One bug got introduced and it bites, yeah. and before that, Ireland had no biting spiders. Oh, age no. five, right? I meant one life. More like age I meant one life, I'll have four. to do the whole forest thing over again. Oh no. So I have to no, win. No, you've got this. You've got I this, Cory. Cory? You don't just Corey. have to, you Corey. will. It's destiny. I feel like I have a Earth walnut to in my throat. Corey. Yeah. Corey. 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 Yes. I fucked Ted. Nugent? <laughs> <laughs> Tell yeah. I know. Remember Ted with the guy in my, in my school who everyone called Nugent because he looked like Ted Nugent? <laughs> no. That seems like something that would happen if you weren't looking like Nugent. It was funny. No, you never told me that. That's, that is funny That's though. the end of the story. <laughs> Dude, there's nothing more to that? No. Is there any other childhood stories that you haven't said, Chris? You have uh, to have something. Quote, be careful uh, right here. Man, in, in my school, right. I, there I was a guy called Edmund, and then uh, that Nugent guy had a twin brother, and everyone called him Nugent, too. So there was two Nugents, but, um... This, okay, for some reason, this, this other brother, he hated Ed, and, uh... Ed was just this, like, uh, normal guy, <laughs> but, but, but he hated him so much. One day he, like, cornered him in the hallway. He's like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. And then Ed was like, okay. And then someone was recording it on their, like, shitty old phone. And then Nugent, like, grabbed Ed, and then, uh, Ed, like, spun it around, and he picked him up and body slammed him, like, that one video of the kid body slamming the, 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 the tiny guy. Oh, I love that but video. But he absolutely decimated him. I don't- That was so <laughs> fucking satisfying. Do you guys want to hear a sad story about, yeah. um, I used to play Super Mario World ROM hacks. Okay. Yeah. 
and I made a ROM hack back in the day Ooh. Uh, for Super Mario World. I also did one for Sonic 3. I don't know if it still exists. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, actually. Yeah. Um, I spent a long time on it, and it took a really long fucking time with the editor. I used to be obsessed with level editor stuff and, like, ROM hacks. <laughs> There's always, like, you go through a phase oh where you, like, really love ROM hacks, and I was following a ROM hack guy I really liked. Oh! <laughs> oh Jesus. That was mean, sorry. No, it's like, I'm an idiot. It's my fault. Um, but I was Shame. I was following a, a ROM hack guy that I really liked, and like I was looking up to him, and I was, I was I spent a week working on a ROM hack, and I didn't really know how to edit levels, but I went and, and like redid a bunch of levels, but the terrain still looked the same. So I didn't, I, you know, I was an amateur. But I spent a week at making a level for him, and I'm like, here, man. And I, I like emailed him back in the day, or like messaged him back in the day. I'm like, here, man. It's like, I've gotten really into Super Mario World hacks. And, uh, I'm like, I'm like, I want you to play my level. He's like, you, I'm like, you don't have to play too many levels. Just like, you know, play a little bit. And he's like, okay, I'll look at your level, man. Thanks for sending it to me. And then he made a video and he just totally made fun of me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> he said I was incompetent. My level was terrible. That's so mean. And I was, I just felt so defeated. I, I just like gave up playing. Why are those little Mario dinosaurs? World why do they have like, why do they have like light line work? They don't like match anything else. I know they don't else. match the stuff. That pisses uh, I me think off. they redid why? it. But like that kind of like destroyed my like love yeah, he of just, rom hacks. After he just that. used you as, a, as he made a mock. Yeah, he made a mock. He didn't even finish the level. He literally went into level editor and he zoomed around looking at everything. And he's just like, look, look at this. He's like, he didn't even change the colors. <gasps> Fuck. He just added water. And he just like changed some things around. It's like it's incredibly lazy. He didn't see all the. I edited so many levels. I spent I spent a week like learning how to do Is stuff. Is that video still up? It might be. It was back in like 2010 or like 2009. I wish I, I would be down to try and find it. I wish I could, but you would have to go through so many fucking Mario World hacks. But that that like I kind of felt defeated after that, and I didn't want to like play Super Mario World anymore. So you don't like, even remember the hacks. title of the video? No, it was just like "Don't send me levels like this." I think that's what the fucking that's title so was funny. in all caps. Don't fucking bother me. And if this thing went to school with you, Chris, do you think it would bully you or you would bully it? Uh, Dominance would have to go one way, so uh, now it has no knees. Now it's not fair. You'd bully it. If it saw me drawing <laughs> a picture and not playing sports, it would bully me first. That's fair. So it kind of deserved it. Is yeah. that is that a little close to home? <laughs> <laughs> I got bullied a lot, yeah. Aww. It was funny, though. That's all that matters. <laughs> Good times. Great <laughs> friends. I supplied fucking amazing entertainment for everybody. <laughs> That's a strangely optimistic way of looking at it. All I'm saying is bullying is fucking cool. Every cool person I know has been bullied. That is, to an extent, true. I don't think I was ever bullied, but it's because when I was in high school, I looked like a grown man. <laughs> I, 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 okay, so here, here was my problem. Even I, in middle school, I looked like a grown man. <laughs> I did See, school all wrong for the first, like, three years. For the first three years, I was actually trying. And then after that, I did transition year, which means, uh, you stay back a year and you just do nothing. And then when I went back into the school system, I was in a class of new people. And then from then, I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut and just see how much people like me just by doing nothing. And then literally everyone started liking me. It was fucking weird. Just I, by default, I feel like you I shut had the a fuck sort up. of similar situation growing up. No, everyone hated me because I was like, like the teacher would be like, anybody know the answer to this? Be like, yeah, I know it. <laughs> and it was like, what? A f <laughs> and then after that, you'd just be like, I'm just gonna keep to myself and be the lone wolf. Did you? But you didn't say that out loud. I did, and everyone thought it was the coolest shit ever. Wow. Uh, no. I al I always answered the teacher. I was. I was one of those kids. I was also in, in an Irish fucking Catholic school. Which looks a lot like this. Blood this smells awful. Have you ever like cut your finger and sucked on your finger and you're like- Oh yeah, there's the, the taste of it. What's the worst injury you ever took? Um... Worst injury? I keep breaking my fingers. I tripped and fell down the stairs because I was excited we moved into a new home. <laughs> and my tooth went right through like the bottom of my lip. Jesus. When I, you know what the worst pain I ever was in was I went to some restaurant and I got a piece of chicken stuck between my teeth and uh, it just started rotting and, and it rotted my tooth and I couldn't get it out. It was so far lodged in between there and I had no idea what it was. I had to go to the dentist and he picked it out. The, I, this is me revealing myself as a fucking wussy, but I think the worst pain that I've ever had was when I had the stomach flu. Whoa. I got it from uh, having ramen, I remember. 
I was talking to you uh, when that happened, Julian. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I do remember that. I think they... Didn't we both have the stomach flu, like, around the same time? I think so, yeah. Like, it was in the space of a month or two. And not only was it, like, really painful and it was just constant vomiting, but then it was, like... It's not even diarrhea. It's just pure liquid coming out of you. And it's, like, spraying out violently. Oh, man, that was... They, I had a I had a funny hallucination for for everyone watching. Fever I hope dream. you enjoy that. I had a fever <laughs> dream when when I had the stomach flu that because there was an animation job that I was behind on and I couldn't work on because of the stomach flu, uh, and so I had a I had a fever dream that I was an animator on the My Little Pony cartoon, the the new one that everybody loved, and so I woke up I woke up from the dream and I went no more ponies no. <laughs> I would say about how my sister talks in her sleep. Tell us, Chris. She sounds like the exorcist. She goes like... <laughs> it's really scary. You and should she, hear Julian in his sleep. She, she grinds what her teeth. What have I said? The, the one I remember was that you were saying, like, oh, so you gotta get the Christmas tree up. <laughs> and then the, the one that I remember that was really weird to me was that you said the bonsai tree, he cut it down. Oh yeah, no, I was talking and about you were talking Kappa. About fucking Kappa Mikey. I was Mikey. talking about Kappa Mikey. <laughs> we watched an episode of Kappa Mikey, which, by the way, is fucking terrible. Yeah, it's an awful show. Not it even is like so. Not bad. even funny. Bad. It is unbelievably it's really, bad. really, really hard to sit. What through. is Kappa Mikey? It was a it was a terrible, terrible uh, Nicktoons exclusive show. Oh. And the premise, I like the premise, but they did absolutely nothing. It with doesn't it. look like what it's supposed to be either. The it's premise supposed to be is an American cartoon yeah, that goes to Japan. Yeah. So he like it's an American cartoon interacts with anime characters, and they never take any advantage of that oh. premise. And it doesn't look like it either. It's not. It doesn't look like anime no. because it's like. It doesn't shitty look like flash a Western animators. cartoon either. It looks like a Canadian cartoon, if anything. Yeah. And you were just, you were mumbling about how he cut down the bonsai tree. <laughs> I couldn't believe that this is what you're dreaming about. I don't know why. But the other one, you said you were on a, a train, and you were mentioning how there was Christmas lights hung up. Well, okay then. <laughs> My sister did really fucking weird shit in her sleep. We were in Spain, as kids, and she got out of bed, just sleepwalking, and she, she ran down the hall to a fire escape door. Which is pretty much just a door that leads to nothing, and you fall out of it and die. And she opened it, and my dad grabbed her and shook her awake. <laughs> and another time she pulled me out of bed and like, stomped me on the floor and got into my bed. Though she might have just been awake and pretending to be asleep. Yeah, she, she said, shut up, turd. <laughs> That's actually, you just reminded me of a scary thing that happened. I mean, what uh, a scary I, thing? When I was living with Niall, uh... He, he, he was getting annoyed with the clock. He takes the batteries out and leaves it on the counter. The next day... The clock's back up on the wall. I'm like, God damn it, because I didn't like it either. I take out the batteries, put it on the counter, and then we, we both find out we did the same thing, and we're like, why, why did... Why was the batteries put back in the clock then? And neither of us knew why. And it turns out it was because he actually put it up, but he was messing with you. It, probably. Well, there was weird <laughs> shit that happened in that apartment where my fucking ketchup just exploded out of the cupboard one night. Are you saying your apartment was haunted, Chris? Yes. There was a ghost, and he made the ketchup blow up. I don't he, believe in ghosts. And he made me leave my food out, and it got moldy. I don't believe in ghosts, but ketchup exploding from inside of a cupboard doesn't make any sense. And at 100%... No, I, I can see that happening. Why? Just because from pressure? Cupboard that. pressure? Or it fell down or something. No, it didn't. It exploded from within the cupboard. The explosion clearly I happened did, from within the cupboard. I could see... The ghost of an old woman through the ketchup. That's me. As that was my out. story. Don't make fun of Chris for my story. I just said I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> I'm just saying it makes no sense. One time, my dad was walking by me, and I was a kid, and I saw it in the cartoon where another character sticks out his leg and they trip over. Oh, I uh, remember doing that. I did that to my dad, and he just tripped and looked, and he went, yeah, "What the just... fuck are you doing?" <laughs> they, people just get mad because you can get hurt. Yeah. He, he tumbled on his knees and got back up and put his fists up. <laughs> what the fuck? No, he literally just went, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I was like, eh. <laughs> How old were you, Chris? Um, six, seven. <laughs> there was another time- that makes, it, that makes it even funnier, you were so young and yeah. you got that anger. There was another time where I was just lying face down on the floor, just like doing nothing, and my dad walked into the room and he went, Chris? And I didn't- I did I just didn't look at him and he went, Chris! Oh, I got him hiccuping, he went, Chris! Oh, I got him hiccuping from screaming, <laughs> fuck. I needed to get this joke, sorry. He went, Chris! So fuck, I'm hiccuping every I'm time. Sorry, Chris. Fuck. Do it. Because you went, Chris. Why, why am I hiccuping every time I scream? 
He went, crap! Oh, I got it. I can't <laughs> he went, not crap. do it. We got it. <laughs> what did he do? Uh, I, went, I looked around and went, what? <laughs> and he was like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, I'm just lying here. <laughs> and I was really young. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Why am I hiccuping? <laughs> I hate the hiccups. Cause it's funny. I guess I'm old enough to make this admission now, but this reminded me mm. when I was uh, a younger man and I was in school, I had this bitch teacher named Miss Flu and she had like black hairs and like a white stripe that went down her head. Yeah. And I made a Facebook account called Fat Man Flu. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone tried to find out who it was and it was really fun. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wait, did I already tell the story about the pizza? What? On on the on the show? Did Wh I already? What's the pizza story? It's not it's not that great of a story, but it's one of the few things that I remember from being very very young. Was the first time that uh, I guess I learned just to fucking put shit in your mouth instead of making a being a little bitch about it. I uh, there was this one period I was like three or four where uh, I refused. I was just like, hey. If I want pizza, I'm just gonna refuse to eat anything f but pizza. And so my parents were like, no, you have to eat, like, actual food. You can't just have pizza. <laughs> and, uh... And so I just refused any food that they gave me for three whole days. Obviously, you can't go that long without eating. <laughs> and so, after three days of me, like, going on hunger strike for pizza, they were finally like, okay, Jesus, we'll get you pizza. <laughs> if you fucking, if you fucking eat. So and, uh... But then they uh, they were like, okay, the stipulation is you have to have a little bit of salad before you eat your pizza. And I ended up being so hungry that I just ate the whole thing of salad, Whoa. and I never ate the pizza. <laughs> that sucks. And so that's how I learned. Do you really want to hear a funny story kind of similar? To a, not to be a jerk. Go ahead. It's not starving or nothing, but there's a video tape of me somewhere at home where I'm like, I'm like sitting on a chair pouting really hard and crying. And my mom's like, what's wrong with you, Chris? And I'm like... <laughs> Daddy wanted to buy me a super split. And I'm saying it like that, <laughs> and I'm crying. <laughs> and I just, well, I just keep saying it over. He wanted to buy me a super split. <laughs> it's really funny. That is funny. I wish I could see that video. <laughs> There's a video of my sister where she's holding a spoon up to my mom. She's like, "Look at yourself in the mirror, Daddy." <laughs> Why did you both talk like idiots? I don't know, because it's, like children. it's like a bogger Irish accent. <laughs> I'm from the country. What was your school principal like? Um, he was a... Okay, so my, my primary school principal was, was very nice, but... And that means, uh, when, like, not high school, the school before that. Um, he was really nice, but he used to talk to his bananas and cups of coffee. <laughs> what? Yeah, he used to be like, <laughs> like you're a good little banana, aren't you? No. No, he did, I swear to you're God. making that up. I swear to God. He he, he, he go, mmm, a cup of tea. <laughs> and he'd like drink it, and they, he'd walk around school and go, mmm, my little banana son. And it was really fucking weird. <laughs> that can't be real. I swear. He would just look I right swear. at his banana and go, you're a good little no, banana. No, no, I swear. What? I swear to no. God. I swear to God. <laughs> oh, man, one of my favorite. <laughs> One of my teachers, he was this. Oh, what the fuck? He basically looked like a big long stick man, and Shit. he was like, Sorry. What, he was. He taught me three subjects, so I had him for twelve classes a week, oh. and uh, he he really stank. And uh, people have these really old cell, cell phone videos. Yeah. Of me, like uh, when he was bending over, I was just like pretending to fuck his ass. <laughs> and I up, Every kid has those. And I uploaded them online because I had a website back then, <laughs> and it was password protected, and I got caught. You fucker. Every kid has those videos of them pretending to fuck the teacher from behind. <laughs> was like funny. slapping his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put his name in there? Is that him? how you fucking got caught? No, someone told him. I was gonna say one of my worst teachers was my biz my first business teacher. Uh, in business, you have to learn how to do a profit and loss trading account sheet. Do you remember that? I didn't do business. Okay, well it was fucking forced on me for some reason. But anyway, uh, he made us. Or he didn't even teach us. He just brought us in and said, "Okay, here you go. Get to it." And uh, he was expecting people to be like. Uh, like, just do it off their heads, like, sir, we don't know how the fuck to do this. So, everyone else went home and learned how to do it off the internet, except for me. I was just like, no, I'm not doing it. So, I, for fucking three years, I didn't know how to do it. And that's all we did in British, in British class, in business class, was sit down and do those over and over and over. And all I did was draw on pieces of paper and slip them into his pocket with my friend. What? <laughs> and he just didn't care. One time, I, I did, did I ever tell you about the little, uh, the little thing I got in Las Vegas? It's a little slot machine, you pull on the lever and you get a shock. 
No, I, I did that to him. Why? And he, what? Oh, he, one of those he, slot machines, he, those toy little ones you yeah. put in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He I fell on the those. floor and he went, oh! and then he got really mad, but he didn't care. He was he was too much of a pussy to like enforce discipline. <laughs> so he didn't teach you anything, but he also didn't get mad at you for doing anything. So it was kind of like I was legitimately fun. like the Bart Simpson of the class. <laughs> like my te- that that same teacher, the long guy. Yeah. He would turn around and I'd throw like a wet to- t- tissue at him. And I threw it at the whiteboard and it was going like, <laughs> every time we turn around, we'll just stick to it. And he got, he, everyone knew it was me. Like he knew it was me because I'm the only one who would do that. Mm. But then in parent teacher meeting, he's like, to my mom, he's like, 12 classes. I have Nile, 12 classes a week. It is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Nile, you're an asshole. You're a monster. Yeah, Did you ever go to summer camp as a kid? My mom and dad made me go to fucking hurling camp for the summer what that's the worst place that you would that's like a nightmare for you (laughs) i legitimately fucking hated it what really what hurling for those who don't know is a an irish sport where you hit a ball with a stick and everyone loves it and the ball's called the schlitter it's called the schlitter and you have to put on a big helmet you hit it over uh you hit it over a fucking metal pipe you want to know something fucked up what The, the guy who uh who I used to go hurling training with, like, the guy who taught it was this, like, fucking 40-year-old complete asshole. The guy who fucking ran the camp, he was a fucking asshole, right? He, he was literally like, uh, All right, now you guys, make sure that when, like, he was teaching us how to, like, defend ourselves when another guy's running at you with a hurl. Yeah. Like, like and you know when, when you clack hurls together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, make sure that you do this or you'll hurt your thumb or whatever, right? And it was my first time doing it, so I fucked it up, right? The other guy fucking, I swear to God, hit my thumb so hard, I, it, it was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. So not only is it the worst fucking pain I've ever felt in my life, getting my thumb s- crushed in between two huge pieces of wood, right? The fucking Oh, ass- your, your thumb was in the middle of the two pieces of wood yeah. while they were- They clacked! They clacked oh, these two- no. It's like clacking two baseball bats together. F- and they slid up and crushed my thumb, so I went, ah! Like that, right? <laughs> and this fucking prick, looking at a fucking 11-year-old kid, goes, Chris! What the fuck did I tell you?! Chris! And so I'm getting yelled at by this asshole. And, that, and I was just like, I went home. I fucking, uh... That night I was like, I don't, I'm not going back. No matter what you say, mom, I'm not going back. And then she made me go back. So the next day, why would she make you go back? Because she was just like, you don't do anything. You just sit on the computer all day. And I'm like, but I want to make cartoons, man. <laughs> but she's like, it doesn't matter. You're going back because you don't. I was literally a fat little kid, so I was like, she's make, trying to make get me do all these sports she's that I don't want to do, exercise. which is completely fair. But I will say, hurling was the fucking worst one ever. But the next day I went back. Uh, I remember my friends. Or my mom's friend drove me to hurling that day because my mom was doing shit. But um, the second I got out of the car, there was, like, this, like, a handrail that you can, like, uh, sit on or whatever. Yeah. But I just, like, grabbed it, and I started doing these flips around it, like, on my belly, like, spinning around it over and over. I Wait, felt- <laughs> that that's, like, insanely difficult to do. You were, like, swinging. Nah, no, 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 no. It's, it's not as cool as it sounds. I was literally just leaning on it with my belly and just, just like, flipping around it. Okay. But uh, I fell off it instantly and landed on my neck. And I went, <gasps> like, like that. And then I was like, I can't do it really. <laughs> like, I was trying to hurt myself so I wouldn't have to do it. And then my friend's mom, or my mom's friend, drove me home. And mom was like, I know what you're up to. And yeah, I was like, you're trying to. So, you know, before FaceTime fucks, you did Skype fucks? I well, like you fuck over Skype. <laughs> I've never fucked someone on Facecam. Yeah, who the oh, fuck? Yeah. Go Facebook. on, yeah. Well, that's when I was, in, I was young. I was a really young guy. Jesus. And, and uh, <laughs> I remember the first time there's a hot older girl in my school, and I was like, oh wow, she's like, she's it's the into principal, me. old lady Doris. Yeah. And then, and then, <laughs> and then, and then Skype call, and I was really horny, and, and I started like asking her to do all these like crazy moves. <laughs> I was like, go like, bend your legs back and like fly around. <laughs> and she was like, fly around. I was like, I got, I got too like uh, greedy. I got too greedy and started asking you to do crazy things. I got too greedy. Yeah, she hung up and never talked to me again. <laughs> She's like, your turn. You're like, I can't do any of that. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing that, but you she, can do it. Yeah, I remember being like, this doesn't feel good. I was like, I was like, I'm sorry. It looked cool. Yeah, it looked, it it looked cool. sick for me though. I was like, bend your legs back, like fly around. <laughs> <laughs> do a sonic spin dash. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know the story of me buying my first PlayStation 1 game? It was my birthday, and my mom said, What do you want? And I said, Uh, a PlayStation game. And she was like, <laughs> Why were you like a little poor boy? <laughs> I don't know. And then, because I, I played a PlayStation at my friend's house, or he wasn't even my friend, he was my mom's friend's son who was like 18, and I was like fucking five or some shit. And uh, he was. Why pl- can't I get this stupid thing? He was playing Grand Theft Auto. No, he wasn't. No, what Julian, was he? go, go off to the left. Yeah. He was playing something, but when I went into the store, I was like, I watch a PlayStation game. Oh my god, that didn't get it. Can you jump a little bit higher? But anyways, so I was in the store, right? 
Right? Yeah, you were in the store. And he came here to fuck. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, but I was like, I want a PlayStation game. And then the guy was like, well, uh, Ray Rayman is the new game. And I was like, <laughs> the new game. And, He's and pretty fucking awesome. It was extra vision. And then, yeah, and he, I was like, what is Rayman? He was like, <laughs> I, I'm why are you ill demon shot? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I I'll show you Rayman. And he put on Rayman and he's like, See, you go here and you talk to this woman, and she's like the fairy of the forest. And I was like, I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> and I bought it, and then, and then, and then months later, <laughs> I played it and I hated it. <laughs> and I got to the music level and I stopped playing it. I love this game. <laughs> Here's something that fucking pisses me off, right? One time when I was younger, I was really young. I was something like six or seven. I went to a party with my mom and dad, like at their friend's house. And uh, I was like, can I have some beer? And they're like, sure, ha 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 ha. And they, they filled up a can with water, right? And they gave it to me, except they gave me the wrong can. So they gave me a full can of beer <laughs> and they didn't know, right? And I drank it all and I was like- You were fucked up? No, no, I wasn't even fucked up, but I was just like, <laughs> like, I can't believe you guys let me drink beer. And they're like, ah ha ha. We didn't give you beer, you fucking idiot. We gave you water. And I'm like, but I, I drank it and I tasted beer. It was it was definitely beer. And f to this day, they still make fucking fun of me for it. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you fucking gave me beer. <laughs> they drank the water. Yeah, I don't know what they did with that other fucking can. But I definitely drank a full can of beer. It was Foster's. Uh, it was something really lame. Yes. When I used to, my mom and dad used to make me do hurling in the morning sometimes, which is a really, sh like, well, I will say I hate it. I'm sure lots of people love it, but I, I hate it more. Hit me? I hate is, it is so much. Is hurling a pretty Irish thing to do? It's the, it's the Irish sport. What I is hurling? Say. It's kind of like, it's like <laughs> hockey on a field, kind of. Like you have a ball and a hurl. But anyways, when I used to stand around, I used to just be like, huh, if only I was at home playing video games. And But there was this one cool guy there who would always be like, man, do you like Sonic? And I'd be like, I love Sonic. And then he would start talking to me, being like, have you seen that new show where there's like a green Sonic and, and a purple Sonic? Sonic Underground. Oh my yeah, god, yeah. And Sonic he, he Underground. he was like telling me all about it. He was like, yeah, and he's got like spiky hair, the green guy, and he can play, he plays guitar. And I was like, that sounds so f***ing deadly. And then, uh, like, so I was like, I, I, like, I literally like thought of all these like cool Sonic stories in my head, like thinking about like green Sonic and purple Sonic. And I only saw it for the first time time like two years ago and it just shattered everything it is so it, bad it's like the worst show and ever every made every character is yeah. voiced by julia <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of funny i have a very spurgy memory of one time uh my my grandmother's brother Wait, no, i just went this way he visited from england and he was just this old british guy and he was in the car and we were driving him around showing him the sights of wexford how old was he like fucking 90 <laughs> and then uh he was just like he started singing a song or something here we go and then I said, my favorite song is the Beetlejuice theme song. And then he was just like, well, how does that go? And I just went, da, 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 And he was like, that's great. <laughs> are you in Lapland? Where are you? Lapland? Are you in Lapland? What is Lapland? Uh, that's where Santa lives. Lapland? Yeah. In what? What? You've never heard of Lapland? Never my whole life. What, like, you, like you sit on his lap? No! <laughs> this is where Santa- that's where he's- Where? Live. From, he lives in the North was, Pole, you yeah, yeah, Lapland. Lapland! Lapland? Okay, are you fucking with me? No. In Ireland, do what they is... actually call the North Pole Lapland? Yes! Really? What? As in what? From what? Derived from I what? I don't know, look it up. Zach, keep your phone on you. <laughs> Lapland? Look yeah. up Lapland and see where it derives from. Lapland is an area in Finland. Yeah, that's where Santa lives. Santa lives in the North Pole. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Lapland Santa? Oh, maybe look at Look at Lapland Santa. This isn't real. It the is. Fuck. Oh my god, I gotta do that Ro whole fucking thing Ro again. Robot Amy is the official hometown of Santa Claus in Lapland. Uh huh. You what? can find many program service companies, souvenir shops. Wait, what? What is this? Wait, what? So, wait. Santa's like Scandinavian. Oh, oh, oh no! I, in I, I, I see what this is. What is it? This is literally a real place in in Finland or whatever, uh -huh. where they say it's it's like it looks like the North Pole. Oh, really? I think. <laughs> no, -uh. no way. It's real. Santa Claus Village. Yeah, it's like a village in Lapland. Mm. But I don't think he lived. <laughs> is that my whole childhood ruined? 
Do they say that he's from Finland in Ireland? No, they say he's from Lapland. I always thought Lapland was a place in the North Pole. That's <laughs> a that's, that's like saying Santa Claus lives in Missouri or something. <laughs> <laughs> I truly believe that my whole life. I am from Kansas City, Missouri. I know Santa's dead and all. I know he's not real. And he he's died dead. in 1982. I know he's mummified and has no eyes and his skin's black and he's backwards. And he's in a huge sarcophagus with uh, steam coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, do that open in, in an ancient like, an ancient text, unreadable text. But I still thought he was from Lapland, regardless all of all that. All that considered. <laughs> I can't re I fucking can't believe that. There was a kid in my class who won a contest to go to Lapland and meet Santa. What? Yeah. Did he ever come back? No. Yeah, and he, he, he even said, uh, what, what, okay, this is really autistic, this is super autistic. I ripped the antenna off of a radio, <laughs> and I brought it into school, and I, I was like a cool little, like, sword. And, uh, he was like, can I bring that to Lapland with me? I was like, no. <laughs> he what? wanted to show it to Santa? Yeah. Santa, look what I got. Or did he want to slay Santa? He uh, wanted to put that through Santa's eye. He wanted to sound Santa with my little antenna. I think you wanted to give Santa lashes, 50 lashes, in Lapland. <laughs> in Times Square. In Lap yeah, Times Lapland, Square. Square. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking specifically remember that I used to hate Thomas the Tank Engine. And, uh, like, even as a kid, I was like, this is the most boring shit I've ever seen in my life. And then, uh, I, I just used to watch it because there was literally nothing else on. And my mom and dad saw me watching it, so they got me a bunch of Thomas the Tank oh Engine toys. Oh my god. Oh. I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Chris. Thank you. There's even- there's a video of me lying. They got me a Thomas the Tank Engine, uh, jigsaw puzzle, and I said, This is just what I've always wanted. Oh. That's, <laughs> that's the, adorable. That was very nice of you to lie for them. That was a great little liar. It turns out your parents really love Thomas the Tank Engine. They wanted <laughs> My to dad wanted to play with it. <laughs> yeah, they were doing it on purpose because they knew you wouldn't use it. <laughs> My dad got plastic surgery to have his face look like, uh, Henry from Thomas the Tank Engine. It like sticks out of his head and is gray now. <laughs> what was the hardest you ever hit a kid? <laughs> uh, ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually thrown a punch because I'm a I'm a I'm a wimpy gay boy. I would always I would always slap people. <laughs> I, I slapped a kid in the face as a kid too. He was asking for- he was being such an asshole. Do you want to hear the lamest situation in the world? Yeah. I used to get bullied by this kid on my school bus, and he was this tiny little asshole who, who could not fight. He was such a little pussy bitch, right? Okay. And I was a bigger pussy bitch because I was like way bigger than him and I wouldn't do anything, right? Okay. And, and we used to always sit near these girls who were fucking bitches, and they were like always making fun of us both. And then fucking one day, he was like really annoying me, and I was like, if you, if you annoy me again, I'm gonna punch you in the face. He was like, eh, and he annoyed me, and I slapped him really hard in the face. And he started crying really hard in front of the girls. And just to them, it must have been the lamest situation in the world. The two dorks were just having a fight. One slapped the other and made each other cry. <laughs> that is very embarrassing. Oh, you know what? I have a fucking, I have a fucking embarrassing story uh, yeah. that I remembered just recently was, uh, I used to go to Disneyland really frequently because I had a, an annual pass when I was a teenager. Yeah. And I haven't had one since then, but uh, I remember one of the- Fuck you. One of the really early times that I went, uh, I was- there, there was- uh, this was a period where I was trying to be really, really nice to all salespeople because I realized, like, yeah, these, these, uh, these people's lives stink, they have to- work at this register and like deal with angry mm -hmm. uh tourists all day and so i was trying to make uh well i was trying to make i was trying to make really nice conversation with this cashier and uh it was like late at night it was right before closing yeah and uh, i was asking her like oh how's your day been how's how are things what like stuff and uh and at one point i we didn't even go all the way. At one point, I said, uh, she was all like, oh, yeah, I'm really tired and everything. And, and I I phrased it as like, oh, what time do they let you off work? Yeah. And she thought I was creeping on her, and I didn't realize it until <laughs> later. Because she started giving me weird looks after that. Yeah. And uh, so I guess she thought I meant like, oh, when do you get off? Oh, <laughs> fuck. Something like that. How old and you? so I, I was like probably 18 oh, okay. or something. So like it wouldn't have been outside the realm of possibility for somebody else to do that. I was like 12 with my story. Uh, oh, with your slap story. <laughs> yeah. Suck me. Oh, fuck! <laughs> That's hard. 
Now! Shepardoy. Oh. Okay, don't screw up this time. Whoa! Wow. You found the little midget. There's the moo moo. He reminds me of Kiwi. See, he sounds like he says Ling Ling. Oh, he does say Ling Ling. He says Ling Ling from the hit show. From, yeah. You found the B card. <laughs> Draw together. I'm not a. Chris, what did you think of Drawn Together? What? I hated it. Okay. I, I, really I think I think hating it is definitely a sign that you're a normal person, at least. <laughs> when I was a kid, uh, my friends were talking about it in school, and I went home because I was like, I want to be cool. And then you screamed in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> I went into my mom and dad, and I was like, Mom, Dad, can I watch MTV? And they're like, okay. And they and said, Christopher! No, no, they didn't. But they were like, yeah, you can watch MTV, and they put it on for me, and I went into the kitchen, and then they obviously didn't stop watching it. Okay, so I sat there, and then that black girl in the show oh, was boy. in the hot tub making out with someone else. Oh, so it's the first episode. Yeah, and it got real raunchy, and then my mom walked out, and she went, you're not allowed to watch this, and I was like, I know. And it was really embarrassing. And she said, I'm gonna watch it with you, too. I was like, I don't even like it. It's not even funny, Mom. She's she like, yeah, okay. I've talked you. about she guilty didn't make pleasures. She contact with you, and she just said, you know we shouldn't be watching this. <laughs> and that's why I moved out. I wasn't allowed you, to watch that was, yeah, that was the That was the inciting <laughs> incident. You so had wait, to... it was on MTV over there? Yeah. That makes sense. It was Comedy Central over here. I think actually maybe it was on. I, I don't know. MTV it was directly and, and competing with South Park, and they uh, really like talking about it. Yeah, they, I might be wrong. I they forget. They really enjoy South Park. I heard the movie is all about how much they love South Park. I remember MTV used to play SpongeBob in Ireland. Uh, MTV played Ren and Stimpy later on. Mm. Did they actually? Yeah. Oh. But anyway, enough Down about that. Hole. Maybe I'm fucking wrong about all of that. I, I don't know. You're wrong about your memories? That show yeah. doesn't exist, actually, Chris. You Why not? I, I, listen, I watched through Drawn Together fairly recently, and I'll say that, it, like I said, I think hating it is definitely the natural response. <laughs> I, I, I remember, like it, Well, but I was going to say, I remember occasionally it had jokes that were funny, but for the most part, it was just nothing. It was just aimlessly It's definitely, when people shocked. say offensive for offensiveness sake, yeah. I would definitely no, say that's that, probably... That is the show to go to for that. Because that's what the movie's about. They're yeah. upset with South Park for Oof. having a point. Yeah, I hate the fucking movie. It hurts. It sure doesn't it look It was good. animated in Flash, and it looked okay for Flash. That's true. But I animate Flash. And I'm you cool. You would probably do and better. I, and you're, I'm way better than drawn together. <laughs> I'm better than the movie. <laughs> Comic Central, where's my show? <laughs> Why won't you give me any attention? Now go down ah. the hole. He said, Mamwi. <laughs> Did you guys ever think cartoons were real people? Never, not even for a moment. No, not even when you were really young? Yeah, yeah, when I was young, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely I did. I, I used to think video games were real more than cartoons, though. I don't think I ever thought cartoons were real. I don't know if I ever, like, uh. truly believed they were real. I just kind of, like, hoped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought they were real until I was like six or seven. My dad told me they were real. He, he purposefully taught me that they were real. <laughs> Go over how that works? Like you thought SpongeBob was like fucking kicking around and- SpongeBob wasn't out yet. He, he told me the Simpsons were real and I said, can we visit them? And he said, yes, like like after a while. And then I waited months. And I was like, dad, can we, can we go visit them now? And he was like, no, they're not real. And I was like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> he, he lied. Like he told me they were real, like Santa Claus, and I believed it. The greatest scam of all time. Is this true at all? Is this, this is one hundred percent true. I swear. I swear. <laughs> you were waiting for weeks to meet the Simpsons. Months. Months, Months. Months to meet the yeah. Simpsons. Who who did you would have talked to the most of the Simpsons? Bart. I wanted to have skateboard and stuff. So what? You? Oh, uh, you big fucking bitch. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to meet Bart. Worm. I wanted to hang out with Homer, he seemed cool. I wanted to pet Santa's little helper. So wait, how excited were you for this, and how often did you, like, bring it up? I was very excited, but I brought it up, like, uh, twice. The first time, I was like, like, Dad, are, Simpsons, are the Simpsons real? I was like, yeah. The, the, he said something like, they're really nice. And I was like, you know them? Like, yeah, I know them. <laughs> and then, like, can we visit them? <laughs> yeah, we can visit them. Just, just, like, wait a while. How often did you think about that, though? Not even how often did you bring it, but how often did you, like, think about the fact that the Simpsons... That must have changed your whole life. I mean, I thought, like, after that, every time I watched cartoons, I was just like, wow, they're all real. Like, I watched Scooby-Doo. But, uh, no, yeah, I, I didn't... I don't think I thought about it a lot. I just remembered one day, I was like, oh, yeah, we were supposed to visit the Simpsons. Dad, are we still gonna visit? If I was told by a parent that the Simpsons were real, I would think about that, like, daily, I think. <laughs> 
Life was better back then. I didn't have to think about The Simpsons to, cut, to soothe my pain. <laughs> Anything was possible. I remember there was a really, like, brief two years where, uh... Remember when GTA 4 came out? Yeah. yeah, I played it on like my CRT and I was like, this looks real. And then we got our first HD TV and I was like, I can't fucking wait to see how this looks. And it looked horrible. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I hate HD TVs. These suck. And I hated them for like two whole years. I had exactly the same experience. And also, your parents are my parents. And Is that you guys real? Are brothers. Yeah. And you're attached by the feet. We don't yeah. look the same. You're Puerto Rican or something. Yeah. Well, we're You're different to me. We're really, really long congenital twins. We're not the same, dude. <laughs> okay, keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Look at this little fucking gray. When I was a kid, my dad just fucking like picked off the nail of his pinky toe and just never acknowledged that he did it. The the entire nail? Yeah, he just pulled off the entire thing and just acted like it was normal. Some people are fucking weird. Did it grow back? I I didn't fucking ask to see his feet every day. I was like, you don't want to see daddy's feet every day? No. Okay. Well, a guy in my class, he picked a mole off the back of his neck one time when I was sitting next to him. Was he the guy that wanted to see his daddy's feet every day? Uh, Is he I don't the think same so. guy from that story? No. Oh. <laughs> but he picked a mole off of his neck and it was just bleeding all over his shirt. And I was like, why would you do that? And he was like, I think I might have to go home. Like, we're whispering to each other. <laughs> There's just blood all over his, like, neck. And then, like, the teacher's walking by and it's just like, what the f- what's going on? It's like, sir, I picked off a mole off the back of my neck. It's like, would you ever fucking go home? <laughs> I, I've definitely, not not with a mole, but like, when I was like a teenager and used to get acne, if like I ever got one that was like, big enough, I'd just like, fucking cut it off. With I'd, your, I'd do that, but just like, with my fingernails, so it would be real feet. messy. Why, why won't he jump? Um, I never had that bad of acne, thank Christ. I, I didn't either, but I would I would have like, very rare moments where mine, it would just Mine was flare pretty bad there. when I was in like, high school. It's fucked up that, uh, if you pick it, your acne, and when you have it, it just fucks your face forever. I still know people who have like, really scarred faces from back then. God of War's got climbing, we gotta do also climbing. But we might as well give you his same weapon. <laughs> I told you about the God of War composer story thing, right? No. What's that? Where when I was like 16 or 17, I made that God of War 2 theme. Oh yeah, the whole, the whole Devil's, the whole pot, devil's of pot of tea. Yeah, I made that, and then he sent me an email, the composer got a award, and he was like, that was fucking awesome, I want to show this in an award show. And then uh, I responded, I, I shat my pants, I was like, oh my fucking god! I, I, and I, I uh, emailed him back, and I was like, yes, please dear god! But then uh, I guess he just kind of forgot about it, and he didn't respond. And then for days I was just like, I, I, oh, what do I do? And then I literally, like, I just, I literally looked up his number online, and I called him, and, oh. he, ans and he answered, and I was like, hey, hey uh, I'm the guy who made the God of War 2 theme, and he was just like, oh, hey, man. How are you doing? And I was just like, huh, I'm, I'm good. And he's like, yeah, well, that, that, that awards thing, that they told me that they wouldn't let me use it, but uh, it's really nice to hear from you. And then he just talked to me, like, really nicely for fucking, like, 40 minutes straight, and he, and he was the nicest fucking guy ever. Wow. Yeah, he was really cool. Did I ever tell you about the time I, I, I stole the first 10 minutes of the Mario movie and wrote it as an essay in school? What? <laughs> Did I ever tell you about Did you get an A+. No, tell, like, how? Oh, I was in, I was in, like, primary school, so I was like, 11, but the teacher's like, write a, a fictional essay, and I just r wrote down the first 10 minutes of the Mario movie. Jesus. How did it end? It didn't. <laughs> I got as far as the baby hatching. <laughs> oh no, I got as far as, I wrote down like, it's raining, a woman runs through the rain, <laughs> it's that kind of shit. One of the first viruses I ever got was, um... Fucking naked lady would appear on screen spreading her pussy and try to connect to a server to buy something and it would it would come up every 10 minutes. Did you get Bonzi Buddy? Nope. I had Bonzi Buddy. Did you really? I actually, yeah, actually. I actually got Bonzi Buddy as a kid. Like, I think I downloaded you, you all You thought of it those. was fun like or, yes. or because you knew because like, I oh, liked is... I liked click clickable what were they clickmates or something desktop yeah, I, buddies yeah like desktop buddies I, I had one of those I, I loved the idea of those when I was a little kid because I'm a baby and I was entertained <laughs> by simple things so I, I fell for Bonzi buddy I got comet cursor I remember uh what else did I get I downloaded so many of those so is Bonzi I, I, buddy just considered a virus yeah because it would, it would mail out personal information really? to their servers. Mm -hmm. And it would ask you for it all the time too. Oh. I never I never really heard of it until recently. But uh It's a little purple monkey, right? Yeah. Here. 
I was, I mean, I was using the internet since like 1996, so that was not a, not a good point to let a, a small child on the internet when everything was very easy to exploit. I'm trying to remember which one I had. I, I had I had a desktop buddy, but I can't remember what it was. I had a turkey, and you could cut its head off. <laughs> <laughs> I had something that walked around the screen. It was the fucking Bloodhound Gang. It was the fucking little monkeys from the from that video. Oh, really? Yeah. And that was a virus. Was it? Yeah, I remember it fucked up my computer really bad. Was it official? I don't think so. Did they sing the song? I forget. Oh my god. <laughs> um. It says sex, baby, sex, baby. Then they point to the corner and a pop-up ad appears. <laughs> I, I had a game called Warning Forever that was free and I loved it, but every time I installed it, it fucked up every computer I ever installed it on. But I still liked it so much that I kept doing it. I mean, I, I remember doing... The thing was, I had I had family who were, they were paranoid about viruses, so I had my favorite game for the PC when I was younger was Windows uh, 3D Movie Maker. I loved the shit out of 3D Movie Maker. <laughs> I play it all the time. I had Nickelodeon 3D Movie Maker too. And what ended up happening was that it crashed one time just because things would crash all the time. Yeah. Because Windows is unstable. And uh, the error message popped up and my mom saw it and she freaked out saying, IS THAT A VIRUS?! Is that a virus? And she ended up throwing the disc out oh my of the game. God. She thought, oh, it, she thought it infected the PC. Oh. Turns out it was because she downloaded a theme for Valentine's Day that had a virus <laughs> attached to it. I hate it when parents do stupid shit that they think doesn't matter, but really does. Uh, like, like I remember when my mom gave away my Sega Genesis. My mom used to do that all the and time. And I, I got she home. Would, she would blame me. I got home and I was like, where's my Sega? I, I'm she's sure like, uh, everybody that was in our yes. age group at that time, that had, probably happened. Probably had most of your possessions thrown out and everything. No, you know? but she was like, I traded your Genesis for some toys. I'm like, I, I fucking love my Genesis. And the toys she traded it for was two Mighty Max figure sets. Oh my god. That's what she gave away a Genesis wow. for. She had no fucking idea. Did she and not remember how much she spent on the Genesis? Apparently not. And the guy who she gave it to was like, Dude, your mom is the best! And I was like, yeah, fuck you! <laughs> Asshole. You tricked my mom. I, I just remember friends also like lending each other games and everything, and I fell for that. Yeah. Where they steal your games and never give them back. Oh man, I remember a kid. I, I got I, back at somebody for that though. I yeah. lent, uh... I no, I, tell that story. I'm I did sure too. Give a lot of people... I'm, so no, I remember a guy scratched up one of my games, so I stole one of his games and just snapped it in two because I didn't like the game, but he did. <laughs> what, like immediately in front no, of him? No, not in front of him. I stole it and just did it, and I left it in the ditch somewhere. <laughs> in a ditch? You should have let him see it. He just, he never knew that I or did like it. email him anonymously. <laughs> I was a little passive-aggressive bitch about it. I, I was like eight or something, though. I should miss your Grandia 2 copy. I, I, never, I never felt good about the whole stealing thing, though, because I remember the one time I was tempted to do it was that a kid had crazy bones, and uh, he insisted one of them was really rare, even though, no, they fucking weren't. Yeah. It's crazy bones. The, I think the only thing I ever stole besides that was, like, a, a Kinex piece. <laughs> and I felt so guilty. I ran back to the guy's house, that, and, I, and I slipped it back into that his was, thing. That was the same thing that happened, was that he brought over a Pokemon thing, and he left it under something. I was like, oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. Yeah. He'll be like stealing it and he'll have it. No, I, oh, I but no, he, no. He, he, freaked, he freaked out and was like crying and everything. Like, where is it? I felt so fucking bad. I just, I snuck it back in the room so he could find it. And I was just like, okay, just take it, please. I can't do this. <laughs> no, yeah, stealing ain't good. The most I ever stole was my friend's uh, Pokemon. And he said I could earlier, but I just stole his ba Game Boy from his backpack while he was in detention. Then he got really mad because I did it without his permission, and I felt so bad I never stole again in my life. <laughs> Some the, people the, just literally don't have a conscience. You know how schools do those things where, like, oh, we don't want to, we, we have to raise money by having kids sell candy bars. And I just fucking, I bought, I brought back one of the boxes that we were supposed to sell, and I just ate all the candy bars. Oh, really? It was, it was really, like, <laughs> I was really ashamed of it, too. And my, like, my mom was, like, really mad. She was like, I have to fucking pay for all this now, because you didn't fucking sell the candy bars. <laughs> do you want to hear something I when drain. I was in school? Yeah, what happened? I went to... Okay, so I went on holiday with my parents. We went to Las Vegas when I was, like, 12. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bought a tiny uh, little gift shop thing where it's a little slot machine that when you pull back on the thing, oh, it I shocks am. you. Oh. Right? I brought yeah. it home. Oh, I think he told this one before. Well, go on, go on. I, I don't so. remember it. But uh, I went into school and I, I got my business teacher to pull it 
he pulled it and he fell on the ground and he looked up at me really angry and red faced and he threw it back at me and he didn't say anything and he walked away and then I did it to my uh I think she was my business teacher but she was teaching me religion at the time but anyway she she uh she fucking she did it and then she laughed super hard and then instantly she stopped laughing and she was like you're, you've got detention for a week. You, you're in big trouble. I'm taking this. And it was right after she was laughing hysterically, so it scared the shit out of me. And then uh, I asked her, could I have it back at the end of the day? And she said, okay. Did he get in trouble for throwing it at you? No. I shocked the teacher. That's I should have been in trouble. That's true, you did shock a teacher. I don't know why he didn't... It can't be like an actual electrical Yeah, shock, that's what... Right? It was I, an actual electrical Like, it's shock. one of those it? things yeah. that just, I thought like, it was buzzes. like a little minor thing. Like a no, little buzz. No, it, it fucking hurt, and I oh. did It was... No, every, everyone I did it to was like, Fucking hell, that's bad. I did it to my grandpa, and he was like, Hmm, <laughs> And, but that was because he used to grab electric fences yeah, to climb over them. Yeah, he used to being electrocuted. Yeah. No, it's true. He really was. He, he, he welcomes over. the sweet embrace of death. My grandpa's hands were like fucking hobbit feet. He they grabbed were it and just and never he... let go and said, Yes, thank you, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that teacher fell on his ass and he was fucking pissed. I, I told you about the teacher who said I threw a nail in her eyeball, right? <laughs> I did tell you that, didn't I? Christopher threw it in a straight arc and it went directly into my eye. I must have told you that story, no? I don't know, you didn't tell us no. that. No. Oh, well, okay. One time, uh, I was- Is that what she said? She caught it in her eye? No, it was- it was the most bizarre thing. I think this teacher got fired shortly after, because she was just a crazy bitch, but... Um, she was my art teacher in, uh, St. Peter's. And, uh... She was this big stupid bitch. It was the end of the day. Last class was art. I stood up. Put my chair on my table like I was supposed to, put my bag on my back, said n not a word, staring into space, but suddenly this big monstrously fat bitch turns around, looks me in the eye, slaps herself in the eyeball, keeps her hand on her face, points at me and says, YOU THREW A NAIL IN MY EYE! And I was like, WHAT? And she's like, YOU! DETENTION! And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> she was like, You threw a nail in my eye! And I was like, No, I didn't! What are you talking about? I was just standing here! She's like, Detention! Then I was like, Okay! And then uh, I walked outside, and my mom was parked there, and I, I got into the car, just completely dumbfounded, and she's like, What's your problem? Like, I just got detention, and my mom goes, Oh, for fuck's sake, Chris! What the fuck did you do this time? Like, I didn't do anything! The teacher said I threw a nail in her eyeball, I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. My mom's like, oh, would you ever shut the fuck up? And I'm like, what? I didn't do anything. And I'm like, mom, I swear to God, I didn't do anything. She just said I threw a nail in her eyeball. What sense does that make? I didn't even have a nail to begin with. My mom's like, so if I go in and talk to her, you're telling me she's, she's, she's like lying. I'm like, yes. My mom's like, for fuck's sake. She gets out of the car, slams the door. She's really pissed off at me. Walks inside, and I'm just waiting in the car for 10 minutes. Then my mom comes back out, sits down dumbfounded. She's like, she's a fucking crazy bitch. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and then it turns out she just didn't even mark me down for detention. She just forgot. Okay. She, she was just crazy. That's the worst, like, lie you could come up with, She too. was just crazy. I don't know what the fuck her problem was. She got, she got fired after we went on school tour. I think the last thing I ever said to her was, I like your stupid sunglasses. <laughs> DETENTION! The one time in my life my computer crashed and I lost everything on the hard drive, I had a cartoon I made that was about two stick figures playing Guitar Hero and they lived together. And it was the worst cartoon I ever made in my life. Yeah. And, and I was going to release it that week and then my hard drive failed horribly and I couldn't recover it. But I'm, I'm so thankful that it got deleted. Because it would have been the worst thing I ever put online. It would have embarrassed me to this day. <laughs> Really? It was just these two fucking loser stick men who, who thought they were really co Like, I thought it was the coolest, funniest shit ever. It was just them playing Guitar Hero and being really good at it. What if it was your best video you ever? Dick. And it, it's it still definitely was Aww. not. What if it garnered more attention than, uh, Gangnam Style? I'm sure it would have gotten, like, 200,000 views in Daily Second on Newgrounds or some shit. What if it got shit? 200 million views and it was, like, the most viewed video all the time? And it was always cited as your best creation? Okay, that would have been cool. But it wouldn't have happened. Yeah, well, I mean, you don't Chris, know. It you don't never know. came out. Yeah, it got wiped off the face of the I earth. I didn't even have a name for it. Uh, a stickman playing Guitar Hero. Epic walls. Guitar. 
Guitar Hero Bros. <laughs> Fuck yes. Lols and Sue. Real. Oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Lols and Sue. I used to love that. Hilarity ensues. It was in the, like every Newgrounds description. Yeah. That is a good one, honestly. I'm still not sick of that to this day. Like, stupid <laughs> one and ugly <laughs> to go into the city. Hilarity ensues. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've used hilarity ensues one of my things before. Everyone should put that in every fucking description for the rest of the time. I used to, when I made videos, we had this, like, meme with our group, which is kind of gay to think, but with, like, bum tumblers, we had, uh, parentheses laugh. So it was, like, a reference to, like, an anime. <laughs> Because, like, anytime he laughed, it said parentheses laugh. Oh, and he funny. actually said parentheses laugh. Did he really? Yeah, which made it even funnier. <laughs> so we used to just say parentheses laugh all the time, which was just like, to someone else, we just seemed like lunatics, but... That's funny. It was like a funny reference at the time. I remember I got in, like, a f ton of trouble because, like, one of my friends was like, Dude, I typed in nakedladies.com and I, I saw naked ladies, and I thought that was so funny. <laughs> and then, uh, I, like, told my parents about it at dinner, and they screamed at me. <laughs> yeah. I, I will say, the first time I ever saw hentai, I thought it was, like, just completely a joke. <laughs> like, I saw this image of, like, Misty sucking Ash's dick, yeah. and I thought it was the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> it is pretty funny if you think about it. And you're saying this was before you comprehended what sex was? I, I, I wouldn't say it wasn't that I comprehended what sex was. I just didn't understand, like the appeal of looking at that like from a genuine I sexual see, perspective see. so, so you, just, you I, just thought it was someone making a joke yeah i thought it was someone making a joke where it's like wouldn't it be funny if misty sucked ash's cock and i i was like yeah it would that be is funny. the funniest fucking thought did i ever tell you my mom accidentally bought me hentai when i was like tw 13 or 12 uh, are you talking about that anime movie that Tomar loves? Or it's a Kadoji? Yeah. yeah. When did I say I loved it? I you haven't said, even seen it. You said it makes me grin ear to ear. I definitely it, didn't it say is that. A, no, it is really funny, that movie. Because the dub is ridiculous. But my mom bought that for me because it had a big cool monster on the cover. And she was like, Chris loves big cool monsters. Did So did she ever find out about that? Nah, but I think they watch every few videos on here, so she'll find out now. <laughs> one day, one day she'll realize the mistake that she made. I love you, Mom. <laughs> we know you, you didn't mean it. I know you didn't mean it, Would she be good-humored if, if, like, you told her that? She, or would yeah, she, she get would. mad? Okay. By now, I'd imagine she would be. I don't think she knows what hentai is. Do you guys want to hear something funny that happened to me when I was a little 12-year-old? What yeah. happened? Uh... I, w I was, I went to America with my mom and dad and sister, and we went to my dad's friend's daughter's friend's barn party, when there was like a hundred people at this barn out in Iowa somewhere, and uh, they were like, hey, you want to play basketball with us? And I was like, okay, and I got the basketball, and I, I threw it really hard, it smashed a girl in the face, and she went, <laughs> What did you hit her, like the eyes or the mouth? In the nose. <laughs> Oh I was God. like, I'm so sorry, and she was like, What the problem? And then uh, I, I got excluded, I got banished from, from the cool guys, right? And I, I had to go sit with these guys. Um, so it was like, two, two, three kids. One of them uh, was wearing a necklace made of Lego. And, How old was he? Uh, like 12. <laughs> but he was wearing a necklace made of Lego, and he, he didn't talk. And then there was another guy sitting with his mom. And his mom was obviously looking after him, because he was really <laughs> But he was like, uh... His mom was like, hello, Chris, welcome to the, the fun desk. And I was like, hello. And then she was like, this is my son. He's very nice. And this he is was like, like a weird episode of Rugrats or something. Like Tommy fucking throws a basketball in someone's face and has to sit with the weird kids. No, exactly. <laughs> and it was creepy because uh, she was like, this is my son. He's very nice. And she's like, say hello. And he was like, he was staring into fire, like a bonfire. <laughs> and he was going, fire! <laughs> and she was like, yes. Fire is very warm, isn't it? And he was just like, ah, burn it all! And I was just sitting there like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? And she was like, say hello to He's Beavis. Stay. He's fucking Beavis, dude. No, no, that, that, that's the thing. It's like, it sounds like a cartoon, but this was a real kid. No, no, I real believe kid. it's real. I, he, he might have gotten that from the show. Yeah, maybe. But his mom was clearly just being like, yes, Psychotic. yes. He's my wonderful son, and I love him very much. Was it much. like a broken demeanor, or like a glazed over, like like you, she was she was a husk being would you, controlled would you, would by you, would a host Would you describe parasite? her? As, <laughs> she, would you would you say she had milky eyes? She had a milked over eyes. Yes. <laughs> she had milked over eyes and a gray demeanor. She had a two inch layer of milk over her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she had milky eyes and a gray haircut. <laughs> she had gray spots on her skin. <laughs> 
Her spots grew and shrunk as she talked. <laughs> they're alive, they're living <laughs> organisms. You guys want to go to the fucking skeleton island? Yeah. We could go to the fucking skeleton island. Oh, do you want to hear another thing that happened that night? There was a girl there that uh, really liked me for some reason. And Cause she... you fucking nailed her with a basketball and asserted your dominance? No, it was some other girl. She was just some girl, right? And she was like, wow, Chris is pretty cool. And then uh, she was, she went up to her, to the, my dad's friend's daughter, and she was like, can I come back to yours tonight? She was like, of course, ha ha! And then she, she came back to the house, and then she woke me up at like 2 in the morning, and uh, she was like, come downstairs. I was like, oh, okay. And then she, she brought me downstairs and made me grab her boob. And then the next day, nothing else happened. How long were you there for? Was it like the beginning of the trip or the end of the trip? It was like near the end. Okay. That was the first time I touched the boob. What's her, what's her name and her address? <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will say I looked her up. And, <laughs> Recently? Uh, yeah, and she's not looking so hot. Oh, no. She has a baby. Is it yours? It's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you wear, did you wear a glove? 20 years old Did now. you wear a glove when you touched her tit? No. That's, you, oh, that's, how, that's how it I, happens. I, I think it might be mine. <laughs> <laughs> I was really pissed off though, cause uh, everyone in my family knew about it somehow. My mom and dad were making fun of me for touching a boob. <laughs> yeah, they're like, ah, ah you straight, yeah, touch the boob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I literally killed myself that night, but they brought me back. They resuscitated you. Yeah. Oh wait, can I not go here yet? My dad shoved marbles into my eyeballs. <laughs> he pushed the stuff into your eyes. <laughs> I, got... I love the hell out of it. I didn't care what anyone thought. Yeah, I, I definitely love Pokemon. In Ireland, though, if, if you like Pokemon after yellow and red and blue, you were considered, like, Did scum. I ever tell you about that? We had a neighbor who was in his 40s who used to come play Pokemon with us. Really? And he would dress like Ash Ketchum. <laughs> no, you're fucking with I me. I swear to God, and he painted his pet rat yellow. It was crazy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you're, you're crazy. <laughs> And one time when he lost, he picked up his pet rat and threw it in the ground. You could have kept that going. You jumped right. I did. To, I... You jumped right to the crazy part. <laughs> uh... You jumped right. You fell right into my trap. <laughs> no. right I did it. You won a costume contest <laughs> at the game place. I got you instantly. You did not. Uh huh. <laughs> but that, but that a really fucking forty-year-old man walked into your house dressed <laughs> as Ash Ketchum. I thought this was like a Chris Chan thing. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go like he started like screaming. Is he going rat with red cheeks? No, he, he would electroshock it too. This reminds me of a screensaver I used to have on Windows 98. Of an old lady crying? No, it was like a haunted sobbing mansion. Sobbing for her dead child. It was a haunted mansion It would make scary noises, and one time my dad's friend's daughter visited from England, and I left the computer on it, scared the shit out of her at nighttime because it was making all these scary noises. <laughs> oh. When did you stop believing in Santy? Let me guess, I never believed Santy, I'm too smart. Uh, I would imagine the first time I saw my parents. Really? Yeah. Oh. When did you see them? What do you mean? You mean see them laying out the presents? Yeah. Um, my mom and dad broke it to me one day when I was out on town with them. <laughs> they broke down crying and said, We can't <laughs> lie to you anymore! No, they laughed in my face! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, what? My, what? Did they rub it in? Like, ha ha, your no. hopes and dreams are gone! It was me, my mom, and my sister, and we were out shopping. My sister said something about Santa not being real, and then I said, Wait, what? <laughs> and then they both looked around at me slowly and then started laughing in my face. <laughs> and I was just like, what the hell? And it, it broke my heart. I'm sorry, your innocence was dashed, Chris. And it gotta happen at some point. I really hate that video where it was the prank and the dad has the Xbox box that he gives to his kid. And I think it's just clothes inside, right? That's not funny. They do that to screw with him, and he just starts crying, and they're like, Oh, he's crying! It's like, that's, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't fuck hey. with the kid. Yeah, no, that's, I've never found that kind of shit funny. I think it was for Christmas, too, right? Yeah. That, that one's awful, I hate that one. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing to get a, a little boy on Christmas is fucking clothes. Little boys want... Ass bobs. <laughs> Get them all damn Xbox. In school, we used to have textbooks like for like I don't know math, English, and Irish. Uh -huh. And in the English one specifically, there was short stories that were like to made tell up in the dark. No, they they were like made up or printed <laughs> off wish. the internet by the teacher. I, like he he would write stories for the Simpsons and shit. Why? Or it'd be like uh oh, or did he just mean like test questions? No, like. Not even. It was like he wrote out his own little Simpsons stories. Now that I think about it, like like not not like I don't know uh, why Homer he did has it. three donuts and Lenny takes two. No, it wasn't like that. It was literally uh, a short story that we were supposed to study. It was like Homer and Marge and Maggie are all in the living room. Like Santa's it was like a helper. memory thing. Like oh, did you remember how many fingers she held? No, up? that's <laughs> what it, it was a grammar test. 
That's what it was. We were supposed to find grammar mistakes. Okay. But, um... We used to fucking just be idiots and just cross out words and just replace them. So it'd be like, Homer fucked Maggie. Homer, <laughs> Homer threw Maggie into the fire. Is that, how you, is the that fire. how you came up with the Sixens? No, it's not. It's just literally something that we used to do with everything. We would cross out words in our English books and replace verbs and words so that they were just disgusting porn. And one time the teacher found it and he got really fucking mad. And he kicked my friend out of the classroom even though I was the one who did it. Aww. And I felt bad, but it wouldn't feel bad enough. You know what? I was an asshole, okay? I was a teenager. It's okay. Anyways, we're Hey, he did shitty things to me too, I don't care. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> I feel like that's it's good okay, advice. It's okay, Chris, we're escaping this region now, except I chose teleport by accident! Ah! I don't know if I ever told the story of my friend Sean Kiley when it... We were- <laughs> he was a new student in my school at the time, this was his first year of, like, in my school. Uh-huh. And he came in, and like, in the middle of high school, essentially, so we were, like, 16, meeting each other. But he came in, and we were doing, uh, <laughs> we were doing transition year, uh -huh. which means it's a year off, and you don't really have to do much, except come into school and just, like, like, just chill. Like, it was just a year off, yeah. but you still have to go to school and do bullshit. But we had art class. And we were all given uh, big wooden boards to lean on for the for the paper and shit. Uh -huh. And he just drew this massive veiny hairy cock on it with a huge permanent marker. Oh, it was like no. it was like super thick outlines. There's no way he'd be able to like cross it out or like rub it out or anything. He just drew this fucking gigantic cock on it, and, and everyone was laughing at it because it was so funny looking. I would be funny, especially in permanent marker. But. but I don't know what he was expecting, because we all left the class. He flipped the board over so the teacher wouldn't see, right? Yeah. Until it was too late. But then, we were all in, were like... Were you there when the teacher saw? No. Okay. No, we were all in our, like, hub classroom where we have to go and sit and eat lunch or whatever. Sure. And the big, tall, scary teacher walked in who, who taught Irish. And he was pretty much the disciplinary teacher, because he was, like, old and scary. Yeah. And he walked in, and he was like... So we have a bunch of artists here, do we? And we were just like, yes, sir. He's like, so I'm going to be like, like I'm going to be, I'm going to be calling. <laughs> he, you thought he was complimenting you? <laughs> no, no, yeah, exactly. He's like, I'm going to be calling you all out individually, and we're going to be lining you up outside, and I'm going to ask you one by one who did it, and you know what it is. And we we're just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so, like, every single person was getting lined up, and the first person he picked was Sean. Uh, so, Sean just went in and, like, instantly caved. He was like, yeah, I did it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. And he got sent home, and he got a, discipl a disciplinary. And the, the, he, he literally had to tell his mom and dad in school what he did. Golly. They brought his mom and dad in, and they were just like, go on, Sean, tell him. It's like, I, I drew this big, massive penis on, yes. on the board. <laughs> Did he draw it well, or was it like it was funny? It average, was, like just kind of like oh, they it was a big a nasty dick. cock. Like it was, it was not pleasant, but it was really funny because Sean's like art looks funny. It's just silly. Yeah. So it looked like a big deformed cock, but it was great. I wish I had That's fun a good story. school stories because everything in like our school system when I was younger was just a mess. No, my, my school experience was mostly terrible. I, I I've. Never been so miserable in my whole life as waking up for school. I hated it. I've been recently like thinking back to a lot of it and how I'm kind of surprised by it. For example, they had key loggers on the computers. That was their security system that they used Ooh. at our high school. That's they not good. They were key logging no, everyone, and it was automatically taking screenshots. I found out about it because it was in the C drive. And you could access it through the browser. Wow. And they were taking screenshots of everyone's computer for like every five minutes. Yeah. It was tracking every keystroke you made. And they were just monitoring kids like actively, which obviously that and part's normal. And then that normal. system got taken advantage of. Yeah, that's what happened is that a bunch of kids found out about it and they started going in and messing with kids like email accounts and everything. Ooh. And the fact that they had a keylogger running already, like, yeah, that's, that's probably why that's they illegal. suspended the that kids. That is illegal, yeah. Because, yeah, that's not a legal thing to do, but they did it anyways. We had lots of stuff like that always happening at our school. Like, it just didn't function. Letting kids have access to computers in school is kind of a bad idea. <laughs> well, that too. Kids are smart. Kids figure out code yes, and shit real quick. probably smarter than you. Yeah. So you can I can't... mean, certainly during that time. Cause yes. Because technology. Feel like, I feel like things might have changed since then. I think people are more computer literate in general. But like, when when I think our generation was growing up, 
you kind of assumed that adults didn't know how to use computers, yeah? Mm. Would you say that? Yeah. Maybe that was just my experience. No, that's exactly what it was like. There was that window where no one really knew how to do anything with technology. But, yeah, that was a thing that happened, and I didn't think about it when I was a kid because it was just like, Oh, God. Oh, that's awful. I, I don't want to get in trouble because I know about this or anything. But now that I think about it, it's like, okay, the reason anyone probably got in trouble is because, yeah, they wanted to cover that up. They didn't want that to get out there that, yes, they were monitoring what kids were, like, emailing. Yeah. They were able to get their direct information off of that if they wanted to and could get onto their accounts for things. Like, that's horrible that they had that system running. I couldn't believe it. Now, was this the normal school, or was this that other school? No, this was a normal high school. This was just a public high school, and it's in, like, a rich community and everything, too. So, it was pretty crazy that they were doing that to the students there. Shocker, she said. Our school had a thing called the Language Lab, which was just a room full of computers that we learned French in. And, uh, I was the guy who showed everyone how to use Microsoft Sam and make him say shit. <laughs> but then this one guy sitting next to me wouldn't stop doing it. He kept oh. making him say really dirty shit. Oh. And then the teacher got mad. She, she threw her language lab at me. Chris, did you have computer lab technicians ever mess with you? No. Because I remember at one point... Oh, I miss my computer teacher. Wait, go on. Uh, when I was in class one time, a kid was uh, showing me something in the browser as I was writing a paper. And all of a sudden, I get logged out, and I thought, like, he hit a hotkey or something. Yeah. So I'm typing my paper, and all of a sudden, they hit Control-A to, like, select everything. They delete it. Oh my and they God. save the file and close it and log me out again. Wow. And they ended up, like, typing into the login screen a message at me. And I remember typing back, like, I'm writing a paper in class right now. Knock it the, knock it the hell off. <laughs> right. And I actually got called in to the principal for that because the guy was so furious about it. But it's like... What the fuck? Like, you went and you're gonna delete... Wait, you mean staff was yeah, doing that? I, yes. And you got in I trouble? I got in trouble for it. That's right. Stuff like that was always happening. It's why, like, I don't have fun school stories. It was just really suspicious behavior <laughs> like that. And just kids kind of getting in trouble because they were figuring out how much of a mess the school system was. I gotta say, getting unfairly in trouble in school is... Nothing will make you hate the system more. It's true. Like, um... There was points when I had teachers who would discipline me, and I knew I fucked up, and I'd be like, you know what, yeah, Yeah, but yeah. then you take it on the chin because yeah. you did it. Yeah, yeah. I, I screwed up, I'm sorry, but then there's other times, like, that, that's what happened with the computer, with the, my computer teacher. Like, one time I was fucking around, she gave me detention or whatever, and I, I was like, fucking shit, it's not fair! But then later on, I'm like, I was being a cockhead. But then, there was times where you would get in trouble for something, like, you didn't do, or someone else is sitting next to you, like, talking to you, and you're like, you stop, and then the teacher will like yell at you and give you detention, and it'll just make you hate them. Make you be like, you just, you're fucking with my life, and it's not my fault. Why are you doing that? This is definitely not as serious an, of an example, but I, I uh, remember in, in grade school, uh, they were teaching crocheting for our school. They didn't have like electives or anything, but you, you got the, the class was called handiwork or something. Like yeah. That. And so we were learning to crochet, and I accidentally said crochet. <laughs> but like, it wasn't on purpose because I was I was a little kid. I didn't swear back yeah. then, and the teacher was furious with me, and uh, and I still got in trouble for it. I couldn't convince her that I didn't do it. Yeah. I I had the same thing happen. And I got kept at school the entire day to the point that my mom even showed up, and was saying like, "He's coming home with me. He's not staying here for this." Because they thought they heard me say a swear in the hallway that I didn't say, and I didn't even know why I was in trouble. And they were trying to get me to, like, admit it the whole time, so I had no idea what was even going on. Yeah. And I think I was kept until, like, 4.30 or something. Like, it was a few hours after school had ended until finally, like, I just got pulled out of there. But that was... That's why I, I wish I had fun stories. This is the, the stuff that always happened. We had a... In, in middle school, there was a kid who smeared his shit across all the lockers one day and then pulled a fire alarm because he was about to get in trouble, the whole school got called together in, like, the auditorium about it. So he told me that before. Yeah, and then he pulled the fire alarm, so everyone just left. But stuff like that was always happening. Like, everybody there, it just felt like it was just constant chaos. I had a guy in my school who pissed his pants just because someone told him to. <laughs> they are like, you should piss yourself. And he was like, okay, uh, and he did it. <laughs> well, he was I, a real funny guy. He was also the same guy who wrote his name on the toilet with shit. I mean, kids would do dumb stuff like that, too. Yeah. 
just because it's like, yeah, it's funny. Well, <laughs> this music to that visual is hilarious. <laughs> what, him smearing his shit around <laughs> with really upbeat music? And then that, -l 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 is, is the shit <laughs> falling back in the toilet? That's the teacher catching him and he's <laughs> running away. <laughs> <laughs> that's teacher grabbing him by the neck. <laughs> that's them screaming at him. <laughs> Punching him on the head. <laughs> and now the teacher wins. <laughs> the child's been knocked out. <laughs> no, he's back. <laughs> What I was really... like? What was the most trouble someone at your school got in? Mm -mm. My friend, my best friend, for the first three years, he used to get in trouble every day. He like, I don't know, like, uh, you know what? I also had three people in my class all called Stephen, and they were the worst in the class. They were the ones always getting in trouble, and uh, one of them, there was, I think I, yeah, he was the science teacher for my first year. He, he was so mean to one of those Stevens, and like, the, the Steven was actually like, a nice guy, but he just got in trouble a lot. But the teacher was so brutally mean to him, that one time he started shaking and his face turned like, blood red, like, Jesus. really dark red. And the teacher was like, making fun of him while this was happening. And then I think Steven said something al along the lines of, I hope your house burns to the ground, or something like that. And I shit you not, that year his house burned to the ground. Oh my god. god. Yeah. I wonder if he did it. No, he didn't do it. It was because the teacher was a, an alcoholic. Oh. <laughs> and he just like fell asleep with the oven on or something. Well, there is justice sometimes. I remember a bunch of kids in class thought it was really funny to hold your breath until you passed out, so the one did it. And then when he collapsed, he cracked his head on the radiator and had to go to the hospital. Yeah. I don't know like why. Like, literally cracked his yes, head. Yes, like, it actually, his skull got cracked open, and he ended Jeez. up getting pulled out and got sent to the hospital. I don't know why you would do something like that. There's but, like, a... That's really, you deserve that in full if you're going to be tempting fate like that. You should not be trying to just pass out for no reason, just for fun. There's a weird, like, sad truth that I'd say 10% of teachers really want to help kids. And the other 90% are just failures who are stuck in that job. Probably. We had a we had a teacher in our one grade, and she actually got fired because she was intentionally avoiding working. She would tell everyone to go read books, yeah, and then she would just leave the room. And sometimes she didn't even come in. I have is a that huge... the same teacher where you were reminded of her because of the new Undertale thing? What? The how you said that, that you had a teacher that was looking at porn in class. <laughs> that that was different, but that one was pretty bad too. Oh boy. That one was pretty bad, too. I no, lots of stuff. They lied to us that 9-11 didn't happen. I remember that was a thing. Mm. They told everybody for, like, two months straight that it wasn't real. Because <laughs> they didn't want the kids to be upset. That's kind of funny. But not really. <laughs> Jesus. I have a serious, serious appreciation for teachers who actually care. Yeah, me too. Yeah, definitely. Like, because when definitely. you have them, you really appreciate yeah, them, Yeah, and you too. remember them for the rest yeah, of your life. Yeah, because I can remember teachers who cared. I, I always still, really uh, liked them. I was still... good friends with a lot of the, like, tech department. Yeah, I had, I had, like, one or two really good teachers that I really care about and were super kind, but the rest were just, like, washed up pieces of shit who seemingly liked to be just be horrible to kids. It was just like, fuck you. But, My, uh... uh Oh, are you gonna go with somewhere? I was gonna say, what, like, uh, have you ever seen that video on YouTube of the guy? He's in, like, the classroom, and he's like, I'm so fucking sick of you handing out packets. You need to, like, touch these kids. You need to actually get on their level and, like, speak to them and teach them, not just fucking hand out packets. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, wow, that really is relatable. That's just, like, what most teachers are. They just sit there and, like, just throw something at you and make you do it, and they don't care. I That's mean, what they call busy work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember this too. We we had a technology course, and the idea was that we had to learn how to use Perl, which is like a command line thing that you have to do for networking. Like if you want to get into a FTP, if you want to upload files and everything, mm. and we were supposed to use that to. Is that like Perforce? It it I don't know how to really explain it oh. in a way that would make too much sense, but it okay. was it was a thing that we were supposed to learn just for the sake of uploading files to uh, the school system. And we did not get taught how to actually do it. We got told that we had to do it, but he said nothing to us about it. <laughs> it wasn't in the book or anything either. He just expected us to do it. And what ended up happening was that uh, I ended up just finding that he had the file uploaded already. And I hate saying this. I'm sorry I'm admitting this, but it's what ended up happening. Oh, you should be playing the game. Yeah, I should be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I stopped for a second, but uh, I ended up just taking his file 
and showing it to everybody so they could re-upload it. And mm. I showed them how to use Pearl because he wasn't teaching anybody how to do it. I, uh, and it was really fucking frustrating having a teacher who wouldn't actually teach the class. I had a business teacher who literally taught no one anything. He just sat up it there. It happens! Yeah. Like, sometimes they will just expect you to go through the book on your own and just sort of sit there and hand you tests. Yeah. It's frustrating. No, he came in on the first day in first year business and he put a, like, profit and loss sheet in front of us. It's just like, just do that. We're like, what? How? And he's like, figure it out. We're like, yes. Okay, he I never said yeah, thank it you. Out. I literally never learned how to do because I just drew on paper in his class and he didn't even care. I just literally I wasted all that fucking time drawing on paper. I love that snack. The fact you get didn't get those three bananas made my heart fucking skip a beat. It's cause if you eat too much bananas. Oh my god, there's a smaller snake on the bottom. I just noticed that. Yeah, no, that's my extra guy. This is extra dude. When I was growing up in Ireland, they never said extra guy over there. I've never heard that either. I don't know what that You've is. never heard extra guy? Extra guy or, or just extra man life, or, just or extra Yeah, no, that's what we call it. I mean, but, I call it mostly a life, but American, too. I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've heard, heard people say guy a lot. Is that an American thing? What is, yeah. what is that? Extra guy? Yeah. It's because, like, a lot of games have the little picture of, like, the <gasps> oh, man Chris. to rep- like, in the corner to represent how many lives you have. Hey. What do you just call that, like, a life? You, you know, a life or an extra life, I think, is the most common terminology, but definitely growing, growing up, I- I were, was in all sorts of different places where they had weird words You were words born, you were born 1995, did right? Did you know people who called their Nintendo controllers paddles? Because I did. Really? Yeah, and I knew people who called the little Koopas ducks. <laughs> what? I'm not you, making you, you this up. You grew up in a fucking fantasy land, a made no. up land. I, I went to a friend's house and they had the original Mario Brothers, like, like the one where it's like in the pipes. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like yeah. The the like the one that they brought back in Mario 3 is yeah. like the battle mode. They had oh, that, yeah, and they yeah. called the little Koopas ducks. Really? That's and I'm wrong. just like, I think those are turtles. That's just that's just <laughs> that's just actually completely wrong, though. Oh, they're just like, but look, they have little duck bills. I'm like, no, turtles also have beaks. That looks they're, nothing like a duck. Like an asshole. I, I, there was these okay. two kids. There was a brother and a sister, yeah. and they insisted they were ducks, and like, I I just last life. It they were last like, guy. if you. I feel like there was this confrontation where they're like, they're ducks, or you can't play anymore, and I'm just like, fine, they're ducks. Did you ever punch that person with a fucking lip? I don't know, but I don't think I ever hung out at those kids' house again. I- I remember even in grade school, I think I brought this up already, but there was a- oh. There was a poster in one of the classrooms and it said, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can really hurt me. <laughs> and I remember being bothered by that even as a kid, thinking to myself, like, isn't- That doesn't feel right, why- why are you- isn't the idea to kind of toughen kids up? Why would you have that there? Oh! They're just trying to encourage kids not to do it, not to be mean, but you cannot stop kids from being mean, little no. horrible kids. Okay, well, I guess I'm oh, dead now. Jesus. Yep. Would you say that's the defining characteristic of small children is that they're just really mean to each other, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> they're terrible little shits. Look at our comment section. <laughs> Those are grown Go back adults. To school. Uh, Contravening well, Article 52 of the NC General, General Statutes. Oh, publicly disrespects the Jews of different national civils. Our military service of the Patriot Shield soldiers. I hope you had once the honor of serving with. Did you do that in church when you were a kid? Yeah. Just mumble. Dude, one time when I was in school, we were saying prayers, and there was a guy in my school that literally talked like this. My name is Justin! Like, he literally talked like that, right? Yeah. And one time we were saying Hail Mary at the start of class, and halfway through it, I started, like, going, uh, and blessed be our darling Lord. And, like, I started doing that voice. And I, and I, imitating him? I, yeah, and I thought no, no one could hear me. I was like, and blessed is the womb of Dayum Jesus. Holy Mary, Did mother of God. You? What? Did anybody hear you? No, that's the thing. At the end of it, the teacher said, Chris, I want you to say the entire prayer again. But not in that ridiculous voice you were doing. And she was like really mean about it. And I was like, oh. How old were you again? Like fucking seven. Oh, that's way too young to. Yeah, no, she's a. I legitimately hope she gets a heart attack and dies <laughs> to this God. day. She, no, she was fucking brutally mean. Oh, I hated man. her. Fucking miserable old fucking bitch who failed at everything. <laughs> <laughs> fucking so much contempt for teachers in this show. Fucking sh Fat oh, pig. What? As a kid, Chucky scared the fuck out of me. Because if nobody knows, I'm I was terrified of blinking dolls as a child. So <laughs> blinking? see, blinking? Why do you mean blinking? Like dolls that blink. 
You what? know why blinking? Why? What? I, I don't know. It's an. It's one of those phobias that people have that they can't really explain. Okay, that's fair. It's just uncanny when a doll blinks and yeah. you don't do anything. Yeah. The idea of that is scary. Like I remember one time I was grounded and I was in my room mm. and there was my sister's doll was on a chair and I was looking at it and the whole time I was like, don't blink, don't blink, don't blink in my mind, and then it fucking blinked 30 minutes later. <laughs> And it, it, it blinked. It like You're blinked. Up. And it, I remember that, and I couldn't say anything. I couldn't scream. I was so scared. But I'm, I know that was just my brain playing tricks on me because I was thinking that it Were was. Were you blink. in the dark? Like the dead at the dark? Yeah, it was dark. dark. No, no. My eyes play tricks on me in the dark, too. Yeah, it was yeah. dark, and the light was shining on its fucking stupid face. Yeah. And I could see it. It was like something out of a horror movie Wait. where the light only shined on a dumbass weird face. Is this like sleep paralysis or something? No, no, I was awake. <clears throat> I was wow. leaning on my bed looking at it, hoping it didn't blink. <laughs> and then it just blinked. Just sitting there. It blinked? blinked? What? It blinked. The doll blinked in your room? No, yes. I, 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 he's saying he thinks it was like uh, an illusion or I, I, that he I'm imagined I'm pretty sure my something. brain, like... Oh. Because it's one of those things where it's like, it's happened before where I was laying in bed, like recently a neighbor died at my mom's house. Yeah. And I was and thinking, went into the doll. no, 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 he used to walk by our house all the time. So I, I would be used to seeing a shadow when he'd come by to like get the lawnmower. Mm. And he did that like constantly. So he died a day before he usually got the lawnmower. Oh. So the next day when I was asleep at night, I remember what a shadow looked like. I was like, man, I'd be so terrified if a shadow walked by my fucking, <clears throat> my like vividly lit up room yeah. and a shadow walked by my fucking That's room scary. right when I thought that That's and scary. I ran outside because I was like I was just I was almost in like panic this I was couldn't recent? believe what I saw no this was like 10 years ago oh okay and this is your brain going insane yeah it was dude your brain can do a lot of scary shit if you're like if you're constantly like I don't want to see anything I don't want to see anything you're gonna fucking see something yeah cause I, you put your brain on it one night when I was really young I had to sleep in my mom and dad's bedroom and uh, they had a, oh, a no. they had a, they had a, no they're not they didn't fuck or nothing but they had a similar... No, they fucked it next to you. <laughs> you went, oh, no. Here we go. And they were like, Chris, stop <laughs> making so much noise. No, no. Noise. Shut they, up! They, 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 had a, they had a similar painting on their wall that was like a weird, like, old-timey painting. And I I would look at it, and I would see little things move, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'd look over at my dad, who was also, like, just awake in bed. And he'd look over at me. And then look back at the painting, and there'd be little moving guys. Look back at him, and he'd look back at me. And, <laughs> what? I, and I was just like, "Wow, he knows what he's not, he, he sees it too. He knows what's going on." And then in the morning, I'd be like, "Dad, remember those little moving things?" He was like, "No, you were just freaking me out." And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like "Oh, <laughs> sorry." <laughs> and the little moving guys, they say, "Shut up." No, those little moving guys are fucking assholes. I mean, we we talked about this before. We talked about like sleep paralysis. Like, I haven't had sleep paralysis in quite a long time. No. Oh. But I. I have seen, like, at my old dad's house, when we used to live um, somewhere, I don't know where the fuck, it wasn't Vermont, but it was maybe somewhere in Iowa, Ooh, um, we, Iowa. I used to live next to a playground, yeah. so we saw shadows a lot, because we didn't live next to a playground, like, right across the street was a playground, Right. and um, I remember I used to see, like, people on the, the ceiling just dancing, just spinning around, just <laughs> shadows, just dancing. That's scary. I recently just made a... My sleep paralysis demon in Blender. Really? What? Yeah. I so I didn't forget it. Oh shit, that's Here, awesome. it's on screen right now. Wow. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you put that on when we're playing game, Chris? I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeff smiled when he saw it. <laughs> a little bit. I can't help it if I'm bad at math. My math teacher was a <laughs> He used to walk around our school and hit people on the head with a hurl and laugh. Being bad at math is cyclical. If you have a math teacher that's bad at math, then you're bad at math. Yeah, it's he hard to He certainly didn't make it fun to learn. The math Dude, my math teacher was a drunkard. He literally was just like... I was doing this, and then everyone just sit in silence. He, he would do that. <laughs> he would just like he'd put us on, on, on like a buck and be like, "Learn that," and then he'd just sit there, <laughs> and then he'd be really miserable, and then he'd go downtown to like drink. During school hours? During lunch and come back up drunk. He came up drunk a lot. I don't know if I told this story. I, I feel like I might have. Um, it's it's also kind of on topic because oh, we're boy. playing a Sonic game, but my dad. Uh, when he, it's also kind of my dad's fault that I was even into the shit to begin with. Oops. But there's this thing <gasps> called, uh, PAL Comics. Yeah. And I had downloaded a bunch of the comics, um, because I was gonna practice drawing, like, the porn. Like, I was gonna practice drawing the bodies and, like, learning anatomy and also jerking off to it later. <laughs> yeah. And, oh. uh, my dad had brought the computer to a, a guy, like, an IT guy. 
and he confronted me about it and he showed he, the guy had fucking printed off the pictures and there was like 10 pictures of these like really bad <laughs> printed off your porn yeah what and a like loser. and he gave them to my dad and my dad gave them to me <laughs> And he's like, you want to talk about this? I'm like, oh, yeah, I downloaded that. <laughs> he, like, he was expecting this, like, long pep yeah, what talk. Yeah, what do you expect? But like... I smacked him with, like, oh, yeah, no, I downloaded that. I'm sorry. And he's like, oh, don't do it again. And that was it. It was conversation over. Man, I remember the, one of the very first times I went on a porn spree when I was, like, pretty young. My mom and dad found a bunch of history. And Dude, they, they once were, you learn how to delete history, you're I didn't know going. about history. Like, like they fucking like either. kicked my feet out from underneath me. They're like, Chris, come into the kitchen, oh, right? No. And they these stories make me fucking. They cringe. sit me down and they're like, so we're, we're noticing some weird looking things in the history here, and oh, it, it was no. very vague. All of the websites weren't called like Man Fucks Woman. It was all like stuff like, <laughs> it was just weird vague words I can't even remember. But they're, but they're like, Chris, if we click on this, it's not going to be anything bad, right? And I was just like. Uh, no, no, <laughs> and then they were like, they they stopped and they paused for like five seconds. And it was my heart was pounding and sweating, and it was like, okay, and I deleted it. No, they didn't even click on it. I was like, <gasps> like oh my like, god, why did they not click on it just to fuck with me? I don't understand. I would have done it. What? I gotta tell you the first. Oh no, death chamber. All right, well it's time to turn my brain off. <laughs> this place fucking sucks. Okay, so I, I gotta tell this story. So the first time I found out about like history and that you can't delete it, you can delete it. Well, I did. I didn't know that uh, how you search through like the address bar, it like saves it permanently unless you do a certain thing. Yeah. So what Ooh. ended up happening was like, um, I was with my sister. We were just fucking around. I was actually. This is weird to even think it was with my sister, and <laughs> we. I was with my sister. And we were just like typing in things like poop and pee and shit in like uh, in the search engine, and then we we typed in like gay men and like fucking dicks and stuff. <laughs> and the first website is like cowboys and stuff, and we were like laughing, but it was like really like low quality like websites and shit, and it was like the kind of stuff you'd see on uh, NeoGAF and. Mm. I didn't know that the literal search term of gay men would be in the address <laughs> bar <laughs> when my dad opened the fucking search term for Google. Yeah. So... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he fucking... He called me and he's like, Cormac, get in here. <laughs> and he typed in Google and gay men appear. <laughs> website with the gay cowboys like pulling the pants slightly down and I'm like oh shit <laughs> and I was like fuck and he's like what is this what's the meaning of this and then my, since it was me and my sister it's like we didn't know he's like oh you were both doing this mm. and he's like are you looking for penises and shit and it was we were also laughing so he's getting really pissed yeah but oh my god it, it's just so funny you never realize that like a letter will be associated with the fucking search term <laughs> Oh god, it was so funny. It's hilarious. Fucking, uh, did you ever have that moment when this. you were younger where you're like, Am I gay? And then you try it? Yeah, I, it. I tried sticking stuff in my ass, I didn't like it. <laughs> I, it didn't work out. I didn't, I didn't mean like that. I smelled like watching I tried a, bananas a gay video. in like CD cases and didn't work. <laughs> you tried sticking CD cases in your ass? Yeah, the ones with the rods that you put CDs <laughs> on. I used the trash bag as a condom, I think I said this in... <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you guys don't even understand. You guys are lucky. You didn't realize you guys actually had like a functioning internet as a child. Oh, no. Yeah, you you're. Uh, I'm since I'm a million years old. I didn't. I barely even had. I had a. I had a modem. I had to call up the phone line. Like no, a Jeff. As a kid, I had a modem. modem. I had a modem up until I was like my 13. dad. My you know. I oh. guess like I don't know. I guess I was like curious about girls or whatever at a young age, and my. My dad was like, uh, "Can I restart this?" Sucks. Yeah, we went to like, what was it like, Playboy.com, and it's like it took. I swear, it took like five minutes to load one fucking image, and it just started like going like line by line, and then yeah. my dad just like winks at me. He's like, "Yeah, you just sit here, you check this out." And he leaves the room, what? but I'm just. I swear to God, how old were you? I was very young. I was, I was one. I was one year old. I was. Two. My old man set me down on his lap, made me watch porn. <laughs> I don't know. Old. I was like. <laughs> 12 or 13. Yeah, that's, that's normal. Like, and he's what like, you yeah, yeah, you check that out. But it was like, I'm just sitting there. This he was just making just... sure you weren't gay. <laughs> well, I, I, I would, I would, I would he'd probably, he probably would have been one of those guys, maybe mildly 
sad if I was, but you, you know. know. I don't yes. know. I don't know. I'm sure it would have been accepting either way. <laughs> but Dad, I don't want to watch Bond. Did you have any terms like that, though? Whoa. Terms? Yeah, like, did you do anything like what I just did? Like, did you search for stuff without, like, realizing- Did you like, shove liners up your ass? Um, <laughs> yeah, did you- Did you search- put Crayola markers in your ass? <laughs> did you fill up liners with farts and let it's them loose? It's funny, my dad had this, um- Yeah? I think he had this- I like how you just went He into, had like, this porn, I think, that was now. on, um, floppy disks. Oh, God. And they were- they were almost like GIFs at that time, they but they- Or, like, 64 megabytes, right? No, it was like 1 meg or something. Dude, it Worse. was crazy. Like, those literal black floppy disks. Yeah. They yeah. had, like, one point one megs or something. It was Jeez. crazy. But it was like a black and white animated gift, which was like, it, I, at the time, it was like, whoa, this is like full motion video. That's and, crazy. You know, he hid those discs. I found them. And I watched you, them. <laughs> My uncle had a bunch of weird fucking porn magazines. Yeah. They, were, they were called Bizarre, and they, they had both porn and gory pictures in them. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's fucking, creepy. Yeah. Fuck you, uncle. Fuck you, uncle. <laughs> My dad's made me see weird shit. Like I, I think I said this before, but yeah. like my dad showed me like the faces of evil, um, yes. which is a really really fucked up thing. He showed me the face of evil, and he's like, he's like, yeah, you're not gonna like this. Um, he's yeah. like, but I'll let you watch it. I'll see. Like he he was curious how much I could watch it. Like he wasn't sure if I would avert my eyes, but <laughs> seeing animals get like fucking just like seeing that kind of shit was. Like, I couldn't look away. It's almost like, you know, when you see, like, a car accident, you're just, like, fascinated by, like, the idea of a car accident happening. Yeah. And your head can't turn away. So he was like, all right, yeah, you need to stop watching this. And he, and he, like, did that. But then he would, like, turn on things like Indiana Jones, the scene where the guy's face is melting off. <laughs> and he would turn it in slow motion and laugh as I fucking bawled my eyes off. And he'd just, like, keep, like, the fucking, the guy's, like, face melting. Yeah. He would turn that up to fucking Let me ask 11. you, like, YouTube, like, what, what was, like, traumatic shit you saw as, like, a little kid? Traumatic oh, shit? Wait, wait, yeah. uh, not, not traumatic, but, uh, while well, we're still on the same subject. It could be movies or whatever. No, traumatic. one time I was in, in the kitchen, the kitchen was where we used to always, like, hang out, do yeah. homework, watch TV, oh, and know. all this other shit. And, uh, <clears throat> we'd always go, to, go in and have dinner. But one time my mom was making dinner, and I was just sitting there waiting for my dad to get home from mm -hmm. work. And my sister was, like, in her room or whatever. So it's just me and my mom, and then my dad walks in. And then right as he walked in, this show started, and it was called Euro Trash. Mm -hmm. And it was, like... I was like, oh, what's Euro Trash? I've never heard of this. And then it was just like, welcome to Euro Trash, where everything blah. As it started talking about really gross shit, mm -hmm. but it's like, now let's begin. Here we have 40 naked men hanging out, <laughs> wrestling in the dirt. And it's like, and, and it, it talks about like their fucking dicks and stuff. And you can see their dicks like, and they're all wrestling oh each other God. and flopping around in the mud. That's yeah. hilarious. And then like, and then it's, it played a song that was like, 20 centimeters, and it's like talking about their dicks being 20 centimeters long and shit. Yeah. And my dad just walks in, he's like, What the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's like, It just came on. I don't, it, it, it's on TV. And he was so fucking pissed off. He's like, Don't you ever watch that again. And I was like, Oh, whoa. Oh my God. It's like, what? It, like, I, it was just on fucking regular old TV. I don't fucking understand.